Uh, welcome back to another session of Field of Flies. Um, last time on Field of Flies, uh, the group was teleported away from Anatary with their captive in tow to the base of the Scar of the Martyr. Where they set up camp. Um, Joel acquired some materials from uh, an old party member of ours, and everyone is going to get some good rest. I believe we had two or three days of rest, correct? Um, we we're thinking. And during yeah. which, Fernando, you learned several spells. Uh, yes. I learned destruction magic up to twenty. Mm, nice. All right. Um, and uh, wasn't there something that you two were wanted to talk about before the end of our session? Oh, um, Cad which Cadric? Yes. Uh, Kedrick, uh, Joral, and Killian. I thought. Um, was I the person to mention that? Or did Killian want to talk to me? I thought Killian mentioned that. Oh. I do vaguely remember something like this. Do you remember that? Oh, well, I thought you wanted to psychic train people. But that wasn't... To psychic train? Yeah, to train in the psychic illusion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I was going to uh, ask uh, Karma to basically, like, uh, um, uh, uh, like, allow us to train in, the, in an illusion. Uh, based, <coughs> uh, we'd be, like, trying to base the illusion on, um, you know, uh, 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 memories of uh, ah, what, uh, t t t on Cricket's memories of the compound uh, and uh, the the memories of other party members like uh, Omen and uh, uh, Karma and so, uh, and so on went to the compound when they uh, first got Farin, right? Or was that elsewhere? No, that was in the compound where they got Farin. Okay, yeah. So the 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 idea is to try to have like as uh um like as good an, of an idea of where we're going what sort of defenses uh uh yeah what sort of defenses where we're we're going up against what sort of uh people uh we're going up against like what what types of magic they might have and to just you know, train and practice our powers inside of this uh, uh, illusion for a little bit so that we're, you know, like, ready ready to go. Um, and also, uh, yeah, so would, would Karma be able to, like, uh, read, uh, to use Cricket's memories, his own memories, and read through the memories of the others to, like, set up a projection of that space? Would that be possible? That would be possible. All right. Um, and as you guys sort of take your rest for the two days, he'll he'll sort of be communicating with Cricket, who does come to consciousness. Did you sacrifice? You sacrificed all of her energy already, right? Yeah, but I think we left her there afterwards. You did. You did. You did. Yeah. So only the enemy, only the uh, memories that he contains of her. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Well, um, it would be easier if I could also use Killian's memories, but I can, I can give. I wasn't really focusing on Mirathy when I went back through the memory, so I don't know exactly what she's capable of. Um, that's okay. Uh, likely. Okay, I know that. Um, uh, based based on what I know, uh, we know that she. Or somebody uh, under her uh, modifies their memories. Most likely, that's illusion magic, and uh, pretty high level of illusion magic. 
either that or creation magic, but creation magic isn't doesn't really erase memories, it just adds new ones. So you wouldn't be able to make people forget about uh, magic existing on the outside if they were already aware of that. So uh, it's likely that either she or one of the strongest people we're going to go up against has powerful uh, magical illusions. And yeah. Uh, which would make sense if she was interested in getting uh, Farin as a familiar because uh, 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 like having something very destructive uh, to complement the manipulative powers of illusion would, uh, would make for a good balance I think okay do you does karma tell me sh what she thinks Meryl Thrall is well, this is this is Joral talking about what Marathi might have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my speculation. Is, is this to me or to Kelly? I thought this was sort of like to an open air group. Yeah, we're 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 sort of like preparing to go into that illusion and like discussing it together. Uh, I I think like uh, probably in the morning uh, around like uh, breakfast, which is going to be like rations uh and like cooked eggs that we found nearby oh uh -huh. i tell them it'll be much harder than if it was mere illusion okay so what what are we going up against well i usually help hide with different uh, hide the location with different obscuring magics, but that's only part of its defense. It's ever changing, and it's not really in this world. Give me. Is it in a pocket dimension? Yes, it is. Is it in the wake? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. No. It's its own separate entity of Mirti's machination. Alright. Uh, that's some very powerful magic. Um, yes, she was very mad when you took that little... So, was that something you, you had to deal with beforehand, or was or, uh, Omen, or is that like new sec security measures after your infiltration? Technically, and I might have not specified this before, the compound uh, where she and her people live is in this is not in this pocket dimension. The village is. The village where she keeps all of the humans, the regular non-magical people, is in another pocket dimension. The compound itself exists on this plane. Right. I'm sorry, I should have been a little more specific with that, Des. Ah, uh -huh. uh, okay, I see. They don't even get to breathe our same. They're not worthy. Right. So, yeah. Uh, whatever the key is to get into that dimension, we need to get it. Which means we can't just randomly go in there and murder everyone. Um, we, we gotta have, like, a game plan. We gotta have prepared beforehand and uh, things like this. Um, okay. Also, I forget that Omen has memories of the place, and so does Karma, because they've both been visited, like, uh, like within... Yeah, I was gonna say, Farron. Farron would be real, pretty decent. Huh? Not necessarily. Uh, Farron might not have existed very long before the moment where she was summoned and bound to Omen, because uh, they, they don't tend to, like, exist on their own. Uh, uh, a lot of the time, the uh, the shield. Hmm. At least not not in this dimension. So, yeah. Uh, can can you? Uh, I will be let us know a little bit about like what. Oh. Uh, yeah, what 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 like the place looks like, and Killian, would it be okay for you for 
karma to access your memories in order to to give us like a sort of updated version of uh the place or you can check or something like that hmm sorry i've memorized actually so i hope not yeah go ahead um Uh, I will let Karma briefly read my mind. Okay. Karma will try to read your mind. He's much stronger in the mind reading than he was yesterday. But, uh, alright. He's going to parse through Killian's mind briefly. Um, and where's that memorized check I thought? There's something. So I said I don't have it. Oh, okay, you don't have it. Right. Well, I also don't have memorized. That's all right. Uh, you 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 don't often try to memorize the entirety of the compound. The compound itself isn't enormous. The place where she and her mages train is not enormous. It does have this sort of um tall stone gothic appearance that you sort of expect from a place like Dwanholf and Moth. Tall, tall, like steepled cathedral like building, circular in su or shape. Um, and within there are many like long corridors. There are several rooms for her and her students to train, several private rooms for each of them. Um, Killian, between looking through your mind and from what he remembers of crickets, now that cricket, if Considering Cricket, she has 12 students. Not considering Cricket, she only has 11. Um, and the compound is somewhere near the center, or the entryway to it is somewhere near the center. Is uh, Killian counted as uh, a student as well? He is not. Okay. Um, he is not there for learning at all. All right. And uh, <coughs> we've, we've seen that students are often sent on uh, missions on the outside world because we've encountered two just by randomly walking into them. Um, like, that means we can hopefully cross our fingers and hope that not everybody is at the base. But also, it's going to like me we're gonna have to uh, like we are going to have loose ends if they're not all at the base um yeah so we get a we, uh like so the simulation that uh karma is going to run is probably going to have some flaws into it because it's like gonna be based on everybody's uh disjointed memories but we should still uh, get a little, just a little look around. Yeah. Doot. Doot. Well, I'm, I'm populating the, the I'm populating the illusion. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody, just try to relax. If you see anything strange, ignore it. Part of an illusion is that most people uh, dismiss their own knee-jerk reactions to things that are wrong. Especially small things. Um, uh, who is out right now, by the way, Joral? Iterate, Gabriel? Well, who's not Iterate, Iterate's dead. Yeah. Who is what? Out now? Who, which of your familiars are out right now? Everybody. I like. Oh, everybody. I, I don't think that in the Scar of the Martyr there's too much to worry about in terms of like being spotted. Um, I agree. So... So, here we go. Oh, uh... Um, hmm? Oh, I also ask if anyone has any extra Z on like Yes. Because I ran out by a lot. Um, if you'll let me in, in maintain the... at least a, a light mind link with you, just mind reading, I'm not going to go back into the past, and you think of the spells you want to cast and what they ought to do, I can try to emulate them without you spending Xeon. Yeah, uh, we should, uh, uh, while in the illusion, we shouldn't like actively use our powers, but instead just uh, uh, like 
you know, think about what those powers should be and let karma uh, um, make a sh simulation of these. Which means if one of us is overestimating or underestimating their powers, we might be in for a surprise when we are in reality instead of the, the illusion. But in the meantime, it's still good to help us prepare. I was going to say, please don't cheat. Um, everybody ready? Yep. Yeah. The air around you shimmers, becoming stone stairways and pillars, and you are welcomed into what Killian and possibly Omen know to be the central training room, the central room where Marathi would address her students in mass, um, within the compound. And here is Karma standing at, at the very tip of the ledge. He's looking around at his own creation. All right. All right. If we move around here, are we going to touch the trees that are on the outside or not? Technically, or I'm trying to make I'm trying to make the trees sort of blend in. That pillar over there doesn't necessarily exist in the manner. Oh, neither does that mm. one. We um, Noel removed a few of them as okay. I was preparing. And you did know that Noel was like <laughs> pulling trees out of the ground and throwing them into the woods. Uh, all right. Um, no, okay. I forgot to say that. Um, and that might not be the best in terms of pre uh, uh, like knowing what the place looks like but it will still be useful if we need to like simulate combat while we're training a little bit okay well, well i don't yeah i don't notice anything glaringly off not glaringly off as you look around the exit ways to this place there's like two of them that he's just missing completely however because of your memories of it and omens and his that are all not exceptional you don't really you you know each major room, but you do not necessarily know the exact routes between them, which makes it very hard to get a perfect layout of the inside of the manor because no one has one. So uh, you can easily explore each individual room of the compound, uh, each one that Killian has been in, but not necessarily know the layout. Okay, that's good to know. Um... Omen, uh, do you think you could uh, uh, tell us what you remember of your first time here, so that we, uh, uh, like, I don't remember you telling us the, the, the full story of uh, what you encountered in this place and, and, and like, uh, the, the the details surrounding the the entire heist. Do you have do you have anything else that could be relevant? You wanted to uh, mention about how it happened and stuff like that. Would Would you like me to explain uh, how the original heist went, or did you have other ideas? Mm. No, I think you'd be better explaining it. Okay. Um. Essentially, the original heist. All mages were generally allowed with were generally allowed within Marathi's halls. Of them, she was not really a, a, like offended by any mages until recently. So sneaking in, um, for her was a lot about concealing her magic and just sort of sweeping in right behind. Uh, it's karma using psychic illusion to keep her invisible from the exterior walls. And uh, once inside, it was generally moving very quickly. Gail was allowed to tail her. And Null's only point of for being there was that uh, all of the compound is enchanted. But at the time, they were building a smaller outlet just to the side. And it wasn't fully encompassed in that magical wall, which Owen could sense. Therefore, he could break it. And he did, which was their escape route. Um, so you remember just faintly the entryway, uh, following a line of students to the place where 
uh, this sort of like ritual chamber, which there were several people who were older and not students gathered. And the snap decision to disguise yourself through psychic powers as Mirithi and step forward to address that circle, which wound up with you being bound with Farron. So you do remember the entryway and moving over to the ritual chamber. Uh, you vaguely remember like some of the names of the people in there, uh, but you didn't really see any of the students practicing their own powers. Uh, you also... You know that on the way in, security didn't seem to be terribly heavy, except for the fact that the area around Mirathi's compound is surrounded in weird creatures. Like, tiny, uh, like, it looks almost like the magic of the, uh, the, like, concentration of magic within the compound has mutated or altered animals in the nearby vicinity. Uh... You see, like, scaly squirrels and, uh, mice with wings. Probably, a, stuff. probably a bl bunch of blatodias, too. Perhaps some Blatodias, though they are violent, so they were not they were not as obvious and just out there in the middle. Yeah, uh, yeah that's uh, that's uh, that's a common side effect of places that are too supernaturally charged. Uh, they'll get natural creatures mutating into supernatural creatures. And actually, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Um, make a magic appraisal check. Do you? you I don't imagine you your magic appraisal was when we started. I thought it was only 150. I feel like it was much higher based on like the rolls woman was making. Well, I know that like the very first magic appraisal check she rolled was like a 300 and something, which allowed her to sense all the like half of the weirdness in town. Hold on, hold that on. That was on. an open roll. It's currently 190. It was. That's a main mistake. I think it was 150 back then. Okay. So I would like you to roll a magic appraisal check 150. Uh, listen, I can. I mean, I uh, I can check for a uh, bah, 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 chat archive first. Well, while you're checking, uh, uh, that is the gist of what you remember. Things happen very fast. You do remember getting some weird looks from the students there, and the escape was a mess. The wall was broken by Null. But Karma got him out of there before you reached the, the break. Uh, because as soon as that wall broke down, half of the half of the uh, compound went on alert. Oh. Um, Wait. You yourself were probably the, the narrowest to escape, uh, breaking through the wall while there were people within inside looking around, just not as suspecting you, a rather small individual, also disguised as Mirathi, as the person they needed to catch. Okay. Sorry, uh, do you think you could repeat that? Uh, like, summarize that real quick? Summarize the escape or summarize the entire int uh, intrusion into the compound? Um, the Just the last part since I started looking for oh. stuff. I was saying that, uh, I was just saying that she remembers her escape. It was very close, very harrowing. Uh, no managed to break the wall, but had to immediately escape before she reached the wall because of the mages and the guards there that had immediately noticed and spilled out. She only escaped herself because they were too confused by the fact that Mirathi was walking into the woods to really go after her. And um, though she was pursued, she was pushed in an opposite direction. Towards Terra Santa rather than south, which is where the others, which is where uh, Null and the others had gone. Mm -hmm. And um, that is how they became separated. Gale vanished in the middle of it. It is Karma's fault, and he has sort of said that because during the. When you were going through to find that chamber, Gale split off. 
she was going to try to find other magical artifacts or interesting things within the compound that we had not seen yet, and was captured doing so. Okay. Yeah, did, we didn't like. They didn't necessarily know that she got captured until much later when they uh, reunited and stuff. Uh, yeah. First, uh, first magic appraisal check that Stan Stoner did was with a skill of one seventy-five. Uh, so minus fifteen, so two hundred flat. Yeah, so just fifteen less. Yep. It's uh, yep. You, way. you. Remember feeling the powerful energy of the place. Uh, but other than that, you never really found its source. You never really found... Maybe it was just the constant Xeon being expelled by several reasonably talented magical students. This place probably has some... Uh, and like, it's supposed to take generations for supernatural creatures to, uh, uh, for natural creatures to evolve into supernatural creatures because of the environment. So it's possible that there's something about ambient magic or uh, the, the layer to the weight being rather thin, which would make it like a better place for uh practicing magic in general or just being a place where uh, it's faster to recover magic um, okay uh, what else are uh okay um yeah so basically uh can we like narrate that we're uh, tra uh, uh, training in the illusion Learning spells in the illusion and and uh, like just preparing for different sorts of situations inside of the illusion during the, the next few days while we recover yes. life points and so on. Are you uh, does do you desire to uh, like to see what you could imagine Mirathi's abilities to be like? Uh, yeah. Mostly based on what Killian knows of uh, of her. Did Killian didn't, like? Do you know what sort of magic she has or teaches? Yes, she is a master of creation and destruction. Magic. Oof. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna wish that Idrid was with us because that's gonna be uh, rough. You also know. Oh, hold on. Um. Yeah. What do we also know? Um, I was just going to say that you also know, like, most of her students follow one or the other, unless they have additional, because not uh, only one of them that you know of has been able to follow both at the same time, but um, usually they have one or the other, and then she also tries to encourage them to branch off, so you have some... Who are kind of decent at air magic, some who are kind of decent at light, some who are kind of decent at dark. Not as good as me. No, 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 not as good as you. Though you might have helped teach one if you'd like. Yeah. If you feel like you would do that. All right. <coughs> so we're potentially going to be fighting your apprentice. Very, uh, very Star Wars. You. Um, okay. Oh, I gotta look for a picture, though. Yeah, go ahead, look for a picture. Uh, boy or girl? Uh, let's just say boy. Okay. Right. Da, 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 da. 
right. Um, cool. I'm gonna have a look at regenerating Xeon for myself and uh, the others I have with me. So currently, with everything that I am maintaining, I'm regenerating 475 per day. <sighs> uh, during that time when you are regenerating, Karma will do his very best to run several simulations of how a fight would go with Mirzi, and encountering multiple individual uh, mages, though he doesn't really... He's sort of talking with Joro frequently, saying, are we actually going to fight the students? Because most of the students, from what he can gather from, um, uh, m you know, Angela and her friends were a little young, but they were, like, mm. pretty much adults. They were probably jump burgeoning, like, just on the edge of going out and becoming their own mages for a while. Uh, well, from what he can gather from Killian's memories and from what he saw of crickets, most of the others are younger. They're not necessarily, um, they're like teens, most of them, but there's one or two who are even younger than that and aren't really mages of uh, fighting capacity at all. Okay. So, yeah, no. We, oh, co we, oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, because we, we established a Veils in Line system at the end of the previous game uh, to, to avoid uh, making anybody uncomfortable and child abuses uh, among yes. the uh, lines. So. No, no hurting the uh, little ones. Um, yes, of course. Okay. Da, da, da. So, yeah, we're not going to be fighting all of them, um, but we are... Um, I think, I think like, our best strategy is to uh, hit and run, uh, to, to have, like, kind of a surgical strike uh, where we... Go in there, uh, try to find Meredith, get like t uh, and teleport away with uh, 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 with her, and just like isolate her from the rest of her, uh, 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 the people who are there. Uh, same like uh, we could basically go in and out a few times, and t uh, each time taking out like taking one of the adults away from there. Um, ideally, we. Um, Gabriel has suggested that uh, we repurpose their magical powers uh, to make uh, different artifact ideas that she's recommended I apply now. So, uh, yeah, basically to end this uh, magical supremacist ideology that uh, Meredith has been spreading and to get them to tune that down um, so if we had a place set up nearby with an altar I'd be able to do that pretty easily but uh, and we could take care of them one after the other the problem is if we don't do it quickly uh, like yeah uh, they might raise the alarm and uh, it might be like harder every time that we have to go back in. So ideally, we want to try to be as discreet and fast as possible. Go in, go back out uh, uh, with one person, with like one or two people. Uh, go back in, go back out, and so on and so forth until we have clear access to the, um, like easy access to the to, to the pocket dimension and we can get everybody who's inside out. Uh, that's gonna be the main, our, like our, uh, our main focus is to try to get access to this thing and Gale won't be the only person that we're trying to, to, to rescue overall because everybody who's trapped in there is kind of just in a zoo. So we should aim to make it possible to get everybody out there, out of there. Um, that's most of what I got as far as strategies go. Um, and so wait, you tell me that you want to camelize people into artifacts? No. Uh, not their lives, just their uh, power stat. Oh no, I kind of agreed with um, the other player where I was like, that's a lot more intense than you play it off at. I... 
Oh, okay. I'm surprised oh, okay. that I'm surprised that you your character would do this. My character doesn't have much scruples against it. Uh, but like, like, you wouldn't want his student to go through that. All right. Uh, by the way, I like everybody that I've put through this. I've given like a ring uh, that basically allowed their uh, them to still accumulate Xion uh, uh, even with her low power stats, but it's just uh, slower for them. So basically, like you can still use all of the spells that you know. It just takes you a bit longer to 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 activate them, so you can't use them like in uh, to hurt people. Uh, yeah, that's like breaking someone's leg and then giving them a wheelchair. For people who are leg supremacists. And leg supremacists. Huh? I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm just, um, that's all I got. That's... <laughs> Is this a conversation that Killian and Jorul are having? Uh, I think so, yeah. Well, I would say, I would say, well, if you plan to, um, cannibalize people, just make sure my apprentice be left out. Okay. Uh, I think, here's the thing. We should only do this to the, like, the responsible adults, the people who are going to keep on enforcing this ideology if they're left on their own. Uh, the others, we... like... we shouldn't really try to hurt. They did, like... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like... We could, like... Uh, basically switch out the... Ah... Uh, the philosophy and just try to make something better out of that place. Uh, uh, I know I could teach some mystical arts and ethics a bit better than, like if we uh, uh, if we took the, if we invested the time in those uh, in, the, in that's in those students and stuff like this. But we'll have to make those decisions later based on what we end up finding. In the meantime. Just the adults. Uh, is that good with everyone? Sure. Alright. Alright, so days of training go by. Um, um da, da, da. and it's two. just two days of rest, right? Day two days of rest. So uh, this is the two days of rest you've already had, or an additional two days? Yes, I'm asking them because I said we should um, make sure to do this, not lollygag too much, because yeah, Mir, what's her name? Mirthy. Mirthy would be expecting cricket eventually. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, bu 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 uh, fine. Okay. Um. So, uh, blah, 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 that's gonna be. I just need. Okay. Uh, after two days, I uh, a lot of the magic rods that we have to keep Zion in are still not recharged. Uh, so I might need a little bit longer. And it would give us a little bit more time to train. Um, pa, 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 uh, 475. Give me just one second. Um, pa, pa, pa. Okay. I think maybe no more than four days. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty fair. Uh, da, 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 five, five, six. Um, and if ever uh, like if after a couple of days y'all are, are are have regenerated all of your Xeon, you can also like contribute. Um, but four seventy five is going to equal. Yeah, uh, if we stayed for a total of six days, I would be absolutely full Xeon, but we do not have, uh, but yeah, uh, let's go with just four, if that's fine with everybody. Okay. Four days, right? 
All right. Four days spell learning too. For 75. Yep. Times two. And then add it to five, five, six. Okay. One, five, zero, six. After four days, I'm almost. You're almost full Zion again? Yes. Okay. Um, Omen, are you full before then? Yeah, I have plenty left over if you want me to refill the woods. Alright, so... yeah. <laughs> so I tell you, my familiar won't be able to take part in this combat. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, since we're trying to go stealthy, I, I'm, I'm only going to use Filarial if we, like, when we teleport back to where, to, like, yeah. Uh, and we should try to set up a place nearby that we can, uh, uh, that we can use. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to, like, figure it out when we get there. Uh, ta -ta -ta. okay. Uh, Omen, how much do you have left over from, uh, regenerating for four days? Boom. 800. 800? Cool. Uh, that is exactly what I need. That is exactly what I need. That is perfect. Uh, I've hit level 40 as well in um, fire. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Actually, while we have two days of rest, can I talk to my to your what? Um, that will be. Can I talk to my yes. patron in the? Uh, okay, then I might need two more. I would need two hundred more Zeon, but sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. I uh, do. You want to take a look around for some? Oh my goodness gracious! Uh, what are uh, you te doing? Temperance. 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 Plus a hundred to my summoning oh. results. Uh, and oh. that's the the roll just determines how long it's gonna last. Gotcha. Uh, uh, tell me how long it's gonna last when you can. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Tez, do you want to look around for some Amarlys? Yeah. Okay. I want you to make a search check. You know what Amarlys is? Amarlys. Sorry. Okay, don't. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, you're looking around. You find because of how just jam packed the scar of the martyr is with Thora. You find like four things that you're like, yes, no way, this is slightly different. You cannot find any Amarilius. You're going to find a, a quiet place to spend the full Z on then? Yes. Okay. Fight, I don't have a. Okay, that's fine. Um, hey, can I have some spooky music? Do you have any spooky yep. quiet music? Thank you. Yep. And right. I would tell the party I would need some time for personal meditation. Alone. Okay. He'll move off to meditate alone, perhaps at one of the mouths of the caves. Uh, and you will begin the ritual, settle into meditation as you wait for your patron to arrive. Eventually, the sounds of bird calls and trees rustling will sort of fade from your mind. Everything will become silent and still and then you will hear a voice reverberating you can hear it as though over mountains like through valleys as though it is coming from a very far place away and it's echoed many times you hear nightshade where are you calling me in this terrible place i haven't heard from you my lords i wonder if there's any more bidding you need to There is much to be done in that terrible land. Though I'm not sure you're the one to do it. 
But you have surprised me in the past. I've been working on skills to impress you even more. What have you sown into the hearts of men? I have been trailing this zombie, hopefully. An abomination. Chance, hoping that abomination will lead to the worry and destruction of man. I can sense it from you. This entity can't be allowed to exist. If that is your command, then it will... That is very brave of you for one who doesn't know what lies beyond the horizon. But, if you can do it, be assured you will have my sincere gratitude but on the note of something perhaps more your scale, I can smell the winds of magic on you. Go to that place, that place where you have lingered for so long and trained. I want you to find a place, a pot of soft earth and plant this seed. You hear a small tink uh, as a single black seed falls onto the ground just in front of you and as you like your eyes flicker just slightly open to see it everything around you is darkness but you can see just a faint beam of light down on this seed you may have to dig beneath the stone but plant the seed and you will expand my influence and that of the fae of course, that is all I wish. Good. Commune with me again when either of these have been done. And I think you will be deserving of another reward. Thank you, my liege. Be safe in dark lands. And you hear his voice like... Almost as if he's drawing it back into his own chest from wherever he exists miles and miles away. And the darkness sort of recedes with it. Um, and that is your communication with Foxglove. <coughs> Are you, uh... Do you take the seed? Yeah, of course. I take the seed and... You take the seed, oh. immediately you can feel that it has a minor magical aura. I will keep holding on to it, and maybe I'll tell me its secrets. Okay. If you want, you can actually make a magical price to check on the seed. I'm, no, I'm only good at hiding my aura. Yes, which makes this difficult for you. But you may if you want, and if you want to leave its mysteries to Fox Love, that's fine too. All right, you you can gain just just the faintest aspect of its uh, nature. You can tell that whatever it is, whatever spell it's casting, it has a uh, a significant tie to dream magic. And uh, this is actually not something that you haven't seen before. You you've probably been given one of these seeds in the past. Okay, then. You know that wherever you plant it, um, he'll be able to manifest, as will some of his servants. So, uh, is that it for your quiet meditation? Yes. Excellent. In that case, is everybody else done with their preparations? Give me uh, one second. I do have uh, one question. Uh, mm -hmm. ba, ba, ba. Okay, two questions actually. Uh, will you teach me darkness magic 
uh, Killian when Gabriel asks you. Okay. Okay. And uh, Avelby, would it be possible for uh, Idrid to imp- to get a few metamagics on uh, shields uh, while she's only shielding people being dead? Would that? Unfortunately. Okay. I don't think I, I I didn't know that only the others could cast a spell while they were dead, while their bodies were gone. So oh yeah, while... like, like like casting new spells might be different from maintaining it. Well, um, can she cast spells from her tree? Um, I can go into the book and try to. See if. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay. Da, 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The train, blah, blah, blah. Oof. I am teaching Gabriel, right? No, I'm teaching yeah. Gabriel? Yeah. Da, okay. da, da, da. Uh- if she can cast magic as a trait, then yes, she can learn it. However, our one prerequisite for being able to study magic is if you can cast it at the time. Okay. Uh, it's going to take her forever to learn those meta magics. No, it's yeah. not. Like, the, 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 the ones that I'm going for are pretty, like, cheap Low to tier. go for. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's still, like, a level 50 spell. Hmm? No, it's it's not a spell that I... Oh, Yeah. Uh, it's curr- the same amount of time as level 50. What? Oh, currently for darkness, I'm only at level 40. That's all, like, yeah. No, the meta magic. Yes. I'm, I, I'm good, don't worry. I made the calculations beforehand. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If she dies from physical damage, she melts and her uh, remains sink into the ground. Within a month, a new body will sprout from the roots of her tree, although her memories may take much longer to return. Uh, vulnerable to fire. Hamid Riot's body is vul- particularly flammable, so damage based on fire causes great harm. If she is struck by fire, takes double damage, unable to regenerate those life points at an increased rate while buried underground, but instead can only recover them at normal rates. And if the body of a Hamid Riot is completely consumed by fire, it is burned beyond regeneration and she cannot use her rebirth ability. Nevertheless, her soul still resides inside her twin tree and she can cast spells through it as if uh, it were her physical form, but with her magic accumulation reduced by half. So it says, nevertheless, her her soul still resides inside of her twin tree and she can cast the spells through it. Mean implying that when she's dead, like she is now, her soul would be inside of the tree, because it says mm. still resides inside of the tree. And the okay. um, and the spiritual bond uh, thing also mentions that, like, uh, uh, because a Hamadryad's essence lives in her twin tree, she cannot be uh, properly be said to have a soul. Spells that affect emotions are not able to affect her directly; they have to be targeted at the tree in order to affect her. Which means she does like she should be able to cast from the tree most of the time. Uh, well, well, okay, actually, that's how I thought it worked to begin with, okay. and uh, we said something last time that made me think maybe it's not. So, if that's how it works, then yes, you can teach your new spells. All right. Da, da, da. That is what I figured. I figured like the body of a of a dryad is more like almost like a puppet they can kind of control from their tree is what it seems yeah um it also means that uh if if the uh that like yeah i uh uh that she's she'd be pretty good at like not being affected by illusions and stuff like this because who thinks to aim illusion powers at like the tree um but yeah, do, do, do. Uh, darkness knowledge. Okay, cool. Uh, buh, 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 buh. uh yeah. Uh, just give me a minute to finish taking care of the learning rates, and I'll be good to 
go. Sorry, this is taking me a second. Uh, ba, ba, ba. All right. What does Elman do during her free time? Um, she's going to spend most of her time um, trying to learn the fire mind spell. That's going to be very useful. Learn the fire mind yeah. spell? Yeah, just like, she's kind of like trying to um, focus on just casting spells at the moment. I thought you already knew the fire mind spell. She learned it just now in the past few days, yeah. Oh, I misjudged on that session you were away and thought she already knew it. So that's my bad. She she has, when you weren't here, blown Amanda Smithereens with fire mine, but it's okay. I mean, maybe I've misjudged. I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, but anyways. Maybe it was a moment of passion. Yes. They were hurting Joral and Joral's friend. I don't know. Uh, but, okay. So, everybody get your spells. Everybody do some learning. Yep. Uh, right. I still asked for more Zeon from the party because that was a lot of months. Zeon. I. Oh, uh, no. I, I, I uh, spent a little bit of it to get myself a, a nice tattoo of a. a, a Angel wings and two cups flowing into each other on my hand. What does that do? Oh, it's uh, uh, temperance lives leaves. Uh, oh yeah, uh, a oh yeah. For as long as uh, as it's activated, so uh, mm -hmm. it's gonna last twenty two days. And does it does it specify what kind of symbol? No, it doesn't specify. That's why I like. Chose so I that... can make it any symbol I want to. Yes. Is but... it a tram stamp? That. <laughs> That's, no, that's that's why I like flavored it to be like two cups flowing into each other with angel wings because it's like yeah, but you can change it to do into no, whatever I, you'd like. I'll leave it like that. I've, obviously, I'm a kid, so the first thing I went to is like, oh, it's just going to draw a thing on your head, like. Uh, uh, um, right, I am magic on, uh, this, on <laughs> so, am magic. So, so that the Inquisition immediately knows to like, heretic. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, all right. So you guys, already you have an incredible amount of summoning capacity at your just at your command. Yeah. What'd you do for temperance? Huh? By the way, have you mastered persuasion yet? No, not yet. No, I still don't. Uh, do not have access to the magician which is fine by me um bu -bu -boom. Killian could give you less teach and you how to be persuasive i i i'm increasing my persuasion but yeah i do not have uh it's at 200 yet okay cool uh ba -ba 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 -ba. cool uh up to level 50 is daily uh, and uh, meta magic is fifty. So daily, daily meta magic and spheres. Bo, bo, bo. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. Uh, cool. Yeah, I got it. Yep. And what spells did Gabriel want? Hmm. Gabriel is not learning spells. She is just learning some. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. Um, uh, Gabriel, I am just learning the f uh, pa -pa -pa, um, level forty of uh, darkness, uh, which means like I got to uh, dis I got rage and destroy negative uh, and destroy positive emotions. Um, so, a rage spell and a depression spell. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, What's their learning level? Huh? Cur What's their learning? So, Gabriel has... Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm on the instructor. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Cool. And... Iterid got all of the metamagics that I wanted, which means shields are now a bit stronger. 
Right. Twice as strong? Uh, 50% is strong. Uh, 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 10. Uh, 5. Uh, and uh, uh, another 10. Uh, so that's going to be 20 in total. And 13 total. Okay. Bo, 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 bo. Spent a hundred and forty. Oh yeah, yeah, a hundred and forty-five. Cool, 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 cool. Um. All right. Yeah. Uh. So I'm gonna be able to shield everyone a bit better now. Uh. Yes. Real quick. Um. Oh, uh, um, are we going into, uh, so Amelby, are we going into this with um, Killian having the new armor, uh, or? Yes, all the things that, I, that you took and that I stated that you took, you still have. You also have the daggers. All right. Uh, cool, 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 cool. The dark, the 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 ash blackened daggers of sun and the moon. All right. And offensive expertise, advanced. Ooh, there's another one. Hold on, where's the other one? Uh, forty to get a plus forty. All right. Uh. Where is the last defensive expertise? Oh, uh, S right here. 60 uh, means it'd be another day. Yes, I am taking it. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Four, what was that? Ha, ha, ha. Uh, 10, 10, 10. Wait, what? All right. Uh, is just me being able to get some extra uh, boost to shield. And it's gonna multiply this by three. Uh, One forty times three. It's gonna be four twenty. Okay, and it's four twenty. Uh, okay, cool, and yes, du, du, du. all right, uh, bu, bu, bu. okay, cool, shields are, I now give a plus 60 uh, to my def to my rolls when I roll uh, for shields, plus 60, I spent the uh, Zeon necessary to be able to do that, and it's out of my Zeon reserve uh, for Iterid. So, yeah, uh, good and ready to go. Last thing I need to do is uh, Gabriel, Papa, Farron, Omen, uh, Jenny, uh, Iterid, Zoya. So, I am going to transfer the shield I have on Zoya to. Um, Killian. It's a magic shield, so I can see it. Yeah, it's a magic shield. You can see it. It's the it's a daily. It's the only daily maintain shield. It's the perfect shield from the creation uh, path. And basically, oh boy, yeah, uh, I'm protecting you at all times. Uh, and if me or like as long as me. Or one of my familiars is able to see you. Uh, I don't get the. Um, uh, t -t -t I don't get negative. That. Yeah, the only penalty that I get is for protecting you, which I think is a minus twenty. But I, but because I, I've got defensive expertise, meta magic, uh, and I spent the, the Zion for it, I, I get a plus sixty uh, to 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 defend. 
uh, to like to use the shield, and it's it's got like uh, uh, like a set amount of life points that that regenerates every turn. Yeah, no, that's a legendary shield. We know what. Yeah, is is a pretty good shield. And, it's a broken and, shield. Uh, especially with those meta magics that really like yeah. So you don't need to uh, worry yourself about defending in 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 combat. I've got you. Like you don't you won't need to spend too much magic on shields and stuff like this. You can just take care of it. Uh, take care of like attacking because uh, I'm a good support. Okay. Uh, and yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba, anything else? Acquire. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna shift augment resistances from Zoya to uh, ba -ba -ba, Killian. Mm -hmm. All right. So Killian, you get a plus twenty to all resistances. I'm going to stop maintaining a sense communication with Zoya since it appears she has left. Mm -hmm. uh, so total cost. Uh, so like the t total cost is gonna be three uh, forty uh, minus three ten, and it augments my regeneration by a little bit for girl. Cool. All right. All good. All good. And three ten. And uh, minus 20 is 75. Gosh, there is so much accounting to do <laughs> all the time with Anima. Magical accountant. Yeah, magical accounting, basically. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Yeah, minus 40 to my, de uh, to my uh, uh, defense when I'm protecting somebody. Uh, yeah. Uh, bu -bu -bu, uh, when I'm protecting somebody else with my shields. So just a plus 20 in the end. Okay, cool. Uh, after that, I am all good and ready to rumble. All right. What is the plan okay. to move into the compound? All right. Uh, so the plan is this. We go a good distance away from the compound. Um, is Gabriel speaking first of all? Yeah, that's going to be Gabriel. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to teleport us uh, near the compound, but in the place uh, where we're going to be, uh, where we're going to try basically to uh, uh, find a hiding spot nearby, based on on your memories. Some place. Uh, uh, it's going to be like our uh, regroup point. It's going to be the place where we. Uh, teleport people back when uh, we, we we captured them. Uh, I know the place is supposed to touch energy, uh, so it's going to be hard to move people in and out. But yeah, uh, that's that's just going to be like our center of operations. Um, it's probably like an abandoned building or something else. We after that we go. I teleport us outside. We move in physically, uh, try to capture people, move back out, uh, try to be as d discreet as possible, which means it's going to be uh, uh, it's going to be uh, me uh, and Omen and uh, Killian, because we are uh, we're all skilled in uh, being stealthy. Um, Omen. And uh, Killian, you're both going to have your uh, magic, uh, your your uh, familiars ready to come out uh, if there should be an emergency. Uh, everybody else is going to be staying outside and ready to rush in to assist if there is any need. And uh, yeah. Um, well, I say, well, I will have to cast your senses with someone else if I have to hide my... You'll have to what? Share senses with someone else if my familiar is to be... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, you can... you can do it with me. 
Okay. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so we are the three most discreet people. Uh, we go in, try to use non lethal force, capture an adult, go back out. Uh, if we raise the alarm, uh, the others will uh, the, the others will uh, come in. So they're going to be like outside of the complex, but still somewhat like uh, uh, basically hidden nearby and ready to to come in and intervene. We have spotted like uh, uh, we've, we've estimated this point of entry is going to be the best place to try to go in if the spells haven't been modified from what we know. So that's what we're uh, going to do. And yeah, uh, priority targets. If uh, we find Meredith alone, we, f uh, uh, we try to focus on her. Uh, as, yeah, and as soon as either the alarm is raised or as soon as uh, there's only a, like two or less uh, adult students left, we all go in. Um, and yeah, we have to avoid killing everyone because any of the, the, the majors that are there uh, could be the person who has the uh, control over the pocket dimension spell where everybody, where all of the people we're trying to rescue are being held. So not only for force as much as possible, uh, if we need to capture someone, uh, Filario is probably going to be the best to um, Uh, yeah, to 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 like grab people and drag them out. Actually, uh, you you know what we could do? Uh, Filario could be in um, Iron Blood Armor mode on top of one of you to protect one of you, uh, either Kilian or Roman, and rely on your skill to move her around in a stealthy way. This way, there would be four of us inside with um, both of your shields as backup if trouble arises. Would one of you want to have a Filarial as an extra protection? She's very good at protecting people. Um, and yeah, she's developed the uh, Iron Blood Armor mode to be able to help out in uh, dangerous situations. And that would allow me basically to relocate one of the shields uh, well, actually, I like, just like rely on Filario to, to defend you instead of the uh, creation shield. Although it's, it'll still be there, but it'll, uh, uh, Filario is better at defending someone. Is she armor or a shield? Filario? Yes. Filario is uh, the Blood Rose. Yeah, but I know when she goes into the mode, is she armor or. Oh, uh, she uh, she has uh, basically her her body is made out of uh, uh, like uh, iron armor, um, and on top of the, and on top of that, she has uh, the ability to manifest physical weapons. So she's able to manifest two large shields to give uh, to give to make herself like much better at defending, and she'll always be in full defense. Unless if she's asked to like catch someone with her net, which means like that most of the time she has like a very high defense score to protect you against anything incoming. Mm, I'll I'll say Omen can take. All right, you're okay with that, Omen? Yeah. All right. In this case, I'm probably going to shift uh, the last. The shield that I have on Omen to uh, the Winged Serpent. Okay. Yeah. And the Winged Serpent can't fight. It's not gonna fight because it doesn't oh, have yeah. it. I'm gonna keep it on Omen, and if Filario needs to leave at any point, uh, uh, Omen can rely on the shield instead. All right. So, uh, uh, Filario is going to take like uh, 
uh, is going to transform into Iron Blood Armor mode, and it's basically going to uh, enhance all of uh, uh, like the traits that she sees in you. Um, most, like basically making an armor that uh, makes your staff look more majestic, uh, uh, like uh, makes your uh, cape like you know, kind of like getting a epic armor type. Like in a in a in a in a, um, a memoir. huge <laughs> pauldrons, huge what? Sorry. Huge pauldrons. That's how Blizzard does it. You get big oh, shoulder yeah, pads. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You get the the massive shoulder pads and uh, stuff like this. And uh, yeah, it looks like an armor, and she um, uh, moves her body so that like basically you are able to breathe uh, uh, and you are able to move. Uh, but it does feel like basically you are coated in this warm, uh, uh, pulsating armor made out of blood, um, and it smells like and and like the smell of iron is gonna fill your nostrils while you're uh, protected by her. But it doesn't really augment your size, and it doesn't really give you any penalties when it comes to like having the armor on you because she's just uh, following you all of your movements. All right. So let's And also let's get stealthing. Red and and white is Hmm? Red and white is a cool color combination. Yeah, sort of like white is gray robes and now they have red axe. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um So, first, first action, you are teleporting in? Yep. Or nearby? Yep. Uh, teleporting everybody nearby. Uh, 302 is psychic. Uh, uh, ba, 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 teleportation. And uh, teleport. 302. Uh, one ton, 60 miles. So basically, we're going to teleport nearby, have Joral set up an altar in an abandoned building uh, to, to sacrifice the so people's power stats, and then after that, just get uh, uh, teleport again uh, uh, nearby, uh, like near the compound in a place where, you know, you would be able to run in as needed and, okay. uh, and stay stealthed and then from there the four that are going to go in are going to like sneak in um do you... so we, we are you're teleporting to a place nearby the compound that is a building is there one um the compound there are like there there is a little building beside but they're all a part of the compound technically um Okay, sorry, I was testing something. I shouldn't do two things at once. Mm -hmm. There is forests beside the compound. It is on a small sort of back roads trail down from the road. Uh but most of it is surrounded in thick woodlands. Uh you could try to teleport in one of the side buildings, but I think Kellyan would say that all of those are enchanted against magical or psychic intrusion. All right. Uh, so probably gonna set up in in like n the nearby forest, uh, prepare stuff there, and have that be our meeting point, and just sneak in from the uh, from the outside. Okay. Please. So you're teleporting in yeah. to near the forest. Yeah. Nearby. Yeah. Uh, all right. And yeah, Joral sets everything up. Uh, and then we roll stealth to go to go in. How far did you say your teleportation was? Um, I'm gonna be like, uh, ba, ba, ba. yeah, I'm gonna be like, ah, uh, uh, oh, no, oh, yeah, I'm gonna need to be in uh, close enough for us to be. Uh, ba, ba, ba. I'd say like. 200 meters from their nearest building. Okay. 
How uh, close did you, how far did your teleportation go from where you are now is what I'm going to say, sorry. Oh, uh, 60 miles. So, like, I'd probably have to teleport us a few times to get, uh, like, to get us all the way to to the compound. I can make those rules if you'd like. Um, it's going to take you a little while. Not necessarily, you, you need to do that, uh, I don't know, I might get later. It's going to take you eight times to do that, and every time in between, you're going through largely marshland, but as I said, the compound is surrounded in woods. So, uh, let me roll something. Okay. Uh, yes. The, uh... Okay, none of you are knocked unconscious. Ooh. It's not as thick of woodlands as it is in the Scar of the Martyr, so you manage to teleport. There's one or two of you that are like a little bit too close for comfort, but I look around, everyone's conscious, no one hits the dirt. However, as you arrive, um, it's reasonably dark woods. You kind of remember this quite well, Omen. Uh, little lights appear in the trees. Like, as you're looking, you just see... I'd like to make a notice check, please. Uh, yes. No check, no check. Uh, based on sight? Based on sight. All right. Do I have to make one as well, or is my sight garbage now? You can make a notice through whoever's site you're linked to. I hope you're not linked to Joral. Uh, it's, uh, it's Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel, oh, it's Gabriel is fine. You can make a notice through her senses. Um, well, Omen definitely gets it. Omen, you look around, you see these little lights, and you immediately see these weird little creatures. You remember them from before. Um, they didn't see you last time because you had an illusion on you. But as you look at them now, each one has like this little stalk of light that just like uh, they're all different shapes and sizes, but all of them have this little stalk of light that just flicks up and emits a little bit of bioluminescence. Seems suspicious. And you notice that as like you've arrived, they flick up and you sort of see like these little sparkles going through the woods. Um, we, we didn't plan for this, did we, Joel? Uh, no, we did not. Um, I mean, uh, since last time you had the illusion on, it might mean that they're able to recognize us as intruders as opposed to if Karma was hiding us. So... You can make a magic appraisal check if you would like, Omen. I feel like that this is just a bunch of homunculi used with, uh, created with, made with creation magic, which is pretty. Oh, is that what you say? Yeah. Do you say that aloud? Yeah. yeah. I uh, said yes. It's homunculi. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Idrid has that spell, so I, I like. Uh, I think I'd be able to like piece that together. Um. I ask if you have any Zeon containers so I can make sure there's no random spies of light. Random spies? Oh, these yeah, are spies of light. These are... <sighs> okay. Omen, you can You get the sense that they are magical. You can't quite tell what spell they are or if they are a spell or if they're just creatures with a gift, maybe? It's weird. Oh, how can I can't have the gift. Uh, yeah, but I don't know every student's ability. I know some of them were training in light magic, so it'd be a decent oh, precaution. Yeah, 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 but like, we have been spotted by these, and if those lights might be visible from the uh, complex. Um, okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, oh, um, karma. Can you make it appear as though there are no lights coming from here? 
Um, we'll change our. I can try. We'll change our. I can do that. All right. Uh, Karma, make us look different so that the line lights turned off. Like, make us look invisible. Okay. Um, can I do that on area? I forget. I think I can only do this as long as everybody remains close to each other in one power. Uh, like we'll, we'll stick together if that's what it takes. Um, I don't know. She would have to have the light, um, light illusion because the uh, other psychic illusion. Oh. Yeah, they won't work like that. Um, no, I'm a Dumbo. Oh, uh, you can you can destroy lights, can't you? Uh, f uh, uh... Yes, I said I can do that, but I would Oops, need sorry. more Xeon, because I'm yeah. not uh, super high up. He, here's, here's one of the magic rods, here's, here's like, just tell me how much Xeon you're taking, and... Uh, actually, um, t -t -t uh, I can just straight up give you these rods, so that you, uh, yeah, so question. That you just have them available. Mm -hmm. So, before I was helping hide the compound with some Did I know if anyone else would do that? Uh, if anyone else could do what? Use zone of concealment to hide the compound. Um, no one else... You, that was your purpose. So you were the one to do it. You couldn't sense anyone else doing it. Uh, you can make a magic appraisal to see if anyone else is doing that now. Well, it'd be impossible, because if Zone of Concealment is up, I would send something. Yeah. Uh, you do know that uh, for when last you saw him, um, Hugo hadn't learned that spell yet. And to your knowledge, he was the most powerful Darkness Mage, apart from yourself, in the compound. Okay, okay. Uh... Okay, so I can make everybody invisible as long as you stay within just 30 feet. All right. Is uh, is it turning off the lights that you... Okay, uh, Killian, do you feel like... The yes. Light, do you feel like the lights that you've extinguished are no longer present based on the fact that we're con supposed to be invisible to those creatures? Um... I haven't done this all yet. What what area did you extinguish lights in? At so I'm checking my phone to see the area. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh yeah, you have an Android with the cool spells. I know it's so good. I am jealous. I don't have an Android. Um, how far away are we from it? Like they're all around us. You're gonna want to no, cast. How them. far away are we from the compound? 200 I, meters. 200 meters. Okay. So I, feet. Um, I won't cast it at advanced. Okay. But that will that will go into the compound, but intermediates. Eh. Oh, you you can like make it so that the area of effect is like slightly lesser than the maximum that the spell allows you. Yeah. When, when it's not like an area of attack, you can just make it not as big as it... Uh, you have uh, area control anyways, don't you? Oh yeah, I do. I keep forgetting. Okay, I will use it at the advanced level. Okay. So, um, try to make it not hit the actual... Compound? Uh, compound. But it is 250 feet around. Okay, and what? how much Xeon does it take to cast that spell? Oh, wait. Oh, no, we're a bunch of dumbasses. When we're casting spells near people who have ma enough of magic appraisal to detect when we cast spells. we got to try to limit that as much as possible. Um, well, let me see. I, uh, He's the best at hiding that. magic anyways. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you probably are able to, like, boost your own um magic appraisal to to hide your own magic so there is that oh. 
Um, that is one fifty. One fifty. Yes. Okay. Make a magic appraisal check minus one fifty, and then up it by one degree because of your hide magic ability. Is it... oh, yeah. I don't have hide magic. I oh, want it. I nope. I... Oh. But you might have a spell that allows you to conceal your magic. Yeah, I, I have. I would have classed um, shadow innately before. Yeah, shadow. Okay. I don't give the Yeah. Okay. Do that. Uh, is, isn't it the daily spell? Yes, but I can cast the base level innately. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, no, uh, shadow is I think. Um... Okay, there's one called conceal magic. I think that is uh, daily, and uh, if you are maintaining an innate spell, you cannot accumulate magic to cast other spells. So you might want to basically just be maintaining it uh, to accumulate. Oh yeah, the you're daily right. One and then I, uh, uh, I have not brought this up yet because no, it's not really been here. I don't know where that rule is. I've tried looking that up. From what I was able to tell, you can only cast innate. You cannot accumulate. When you are casting an innate spell, yeah. in one turn you can cast an innate spell, no regular magic. But nothing stops you from maintaining one innate spell and casting magic normally. Oh. You just can't cast both an innate spell and a non-innate spell in a turn. Okay, that's good. That, that is okay. That is from what from from what I understood it to be, and I've been looking for the result mm -hmm. of that. So if you have the page number, that'd be great. I'll tell. I can like I can I can check. But yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we can we can just go with your ruling until I have found it. So that is not that's that's yeah. without the minus one hundred and fifty. With the minus one hundred and fifty, it's one sixty. Okay, you cast your spell. Jury. Right. Okay. Dad, I'm getting really shit raw. That was a ten. That was a ten. Oh boy. Hi, Jerry. Yeah. Um. Okay, sorry. Uh, oh, right, so you cast the Extinguished Light, and it's 250 feet? Yeah, but I try to do it um, not hitting the compound. Okay, 250. Well, you're going to... It's 600 feet to the compound, so you're not going to have to worry about hitting the compound with 250 foot radius. Oh, I thought you said it was 200. Yeah, it's meters. Um, so... Uh, I should have been arcane, but that would have been worse. Okay, anyway... You cast your spell, and you, all of you see, because uh, you can target them, the lights go out, and then... Uh, if there's any spies of light, they need to do a 220 MR resistance, or be a uh, Understood. You know, just, like, destroying their, their, their spy spells might also raise the alarm. <laughs> But we'll see how it goes. We'll see. We will see. Uh, like all of the lights that you can see are actually extinguished at this moment. Oh, how much Theon does the thing you let me borrow have? Okay. Uh, pu -pu -pu. uh, real quick, Omen. I had given you half of them, right? You have twenty-three. Uh, or did you leave, let me keep all of them? Rods? The rods. Honestly, don't remember. Okay. Been whilst well used, hasn't right? Do you do you have do you have them in your inventory at any place? Hmm. No. All right. So I kept all of them. Um, in this case, I'm gonna give you half. Uh, the 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 Killian. So it's gonna be uh yeah. I'm just gonna give you ten. Um, oh wait, no, yeah, okay. Uh, pa, pa, pa. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you ten. It's gonna be uh, kind of sort of heavy to carry around, but uh, like, yeah. If, oh, if you I just... can't carry shit. I have four strength. Mm, uh, I'm gonna give you five. Okay. Uh, okay. Da, da, da. Each of them has a hundred zeon. And if you use an action, you can transfer it all to yourself, 
or you can drain it as at the speed of your magic accumulation instead um so just write down that you have five of them uh blah 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 okay that's gonna lower me to 180 and that's gonna lower me to one four see yeah and okay we should get there soon because it's a maintenance spell so it's not like they're gone for yeah oh it's a maintained by the turn to extinguish light yeah okay. though if we don't hmm? yeah. yeah all right then we'd better hurry um yeah uh karma uh yeah uh, 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 i extended the radius to 300 feet because 30 feet's not near good enough anyone with the 300 feet should not be able to see us okay um killian is it extinguishing the the lights? Uh, like, do you, do you feel like you need to keep extinguishing the lights around us now that we're invis invisible to the creatures who are supposed to be detecting us? Uh, you can actually I... see them from where you are, and though they don't have any lights, you can see that the stands are still like... sort of like moving around. As Now they're sort of like looking around. You can see them shifting their view um so yeah you, like actually can you stop extinguishing like one of them just uh, for for a second so we can like see if it's still on do you have okay. the area you may i do that all right um nearby a little snake with like four feathery wings coming off of it has a really long stalk you stop extinguishing it and beep, the light comes back on. Okay. I think I want the, that as a <laughs> I like I do have the creation spell to make uh stuff like that. Uh and it's uh maintained on the daily, so that is something we could do if we need like our own security system at some point. Um Okay, new plan. Uh, since you can't maintain, since you can't maintain this for very long, we all rush in, uh, and yeah, try to get get adults back here as quickly as possible, uh, and do as many trips as we uh, as we can, immobilize everybody, and uh, we all go in together. So, yeah, uh, and uh, as soon as we're in the compound, you can stop. Uh, you can stop uh, uh, casting the spell to to uh, make us unseen by the by the creatures. Uh, to, like to, sorry, to to restrain the light coming off of those creatures. All right. So the objective now is that you're rushing to the compound. Is uh, if everybody's okay with Gabriel's shot calling at this point? Yes. Yeah. As you're running to the compound, booking it. Uh, I need Omen and Killian to make magic pressure checks to hide your magic. I'll also need Killian. Yeah. Uh, a what appears to be a very small possum, which has a back, which has large butterfly wings, like falls from a tree and just sort of comes swooping towards you. I want you to react to that how you will. Is it a cute possum? It is cute. It has big shiny eyes that are glinting in the faint light. Uh, it's got a it's got a very clean white face and little round ears. The bug wings make it a little bit. Well, no, the butterfly wings. The butterfly wings are um like wide and violet and green, sort of magical looking. I hey, what are you doing? So you're running, and this little possum is flying bink, off of a shield, falls to the ground. And you can see the little dudes over your head, like, look at him. And, like, that was weird. Oh, and, did the possum turn invisible? No. No, the possum didn't turn invisible. It just hit something that wasn't there. Yeah, I, I, I protected you with uh, Idrid's shield. 
So it just uh, so, slammed against the shield and, and fell to the floor. Yeah, it seems to be unconscious. It's um, unconscious? Yes. Uh -huh. Um... <laughs> I didn't know it'd be unconscious. It was. It's very small. Yeah, they're, like, uh, v very easy to kill uh, because their stats can't go above 5. So they're, like, usually... Lots of small, useless, like not particularly useful creatures that that have like powers like turning on lights when uh, introduced. I really want to keep it as a pet, but I don't Do think you I should stop for the possum. <laughs> yes, I stopped for the possum. Oh okay, Killian lingers back and grabs a possum, a sleeping possum. Can you? You're gonna be out of the of the invisibility range. Am I out of the invisibility range? If you just stop, pick up the possum, and keep going, no, that costs you all of like sixty feet behind them, and the area is three hundred. Okay, I, I I try to run back. Okay, so run back. You're carrying the sleeping possum. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, Let's get in the complex. Yes. So you safely arrive at the front door. Which, uh, as you remember, Omen, is decently large. It seems to be made of metal with or wood with uh, like long metal plates on it. Uh, however, this time it's closed. Um, do I remember if it's magic? Uh, the entire place is magic. However, that doesn't mean the entire place is immune to being destroyed. Um, it is just impossible to teleport through with smaller level teleportations and magic and psychic stuff. Um, I could try to dismantle the door. Try to dismantle the door. Uh -huh. It is of decent quality. Yeah. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Uh, give me just one second. Um, yeah, oh, yes, I can, do. can you... Um... Okay. Does the door look like it has any keyholes or things of the sort? There is this weird, um, just f like where you'd expect the doorknob to be. There's like just a flat black box of metal. Um, oh, just... wait a minute. Killian's right here. Killian, do you want to know what to do? Yeah. Yeah. Entry requires 20 Xeon. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I say, Jarl, um, if you just put your hand to it and feed it some Xeon, it should open. I can't do that. You can you do it with a stick. Yeah. I'm gonna, like, use a, use one of our uh, rods to feed it a little bit of Xeon. Alright, you touch it, and you feed it a little bit of Xeon, and it turns of its own accord, and the doors open inward for you. Your, your permitted entr entrance into Mirithi's compound. However, as you are walking in, just really quick, this isn't going to be like a bad thing for you, but it is going to be a thing that happens and that I would like you to make a notice check for. A uh, notice check. Uh, Alright, one second. Notice check. Is it based on sight? Sam? Okay. It is based on sight. Okay. All right. From the upstairs, everybody uh, except for Joel notices immediately. Uh, this rather large, maybe nine foot long uh, snake-like being, you can see like the, it's it's very thin, but at its front, it opens. It sort of like widens out, and there are dozens of brightly glowing yellow eyes in this uh, odd, like diamond-shaped flat plane. It just launches from somewhere above the compound and goes firing towards where you guys are, where you guys were running from. And it doesn't seem to see you. It doesn't seem to notice you. It just keeps going. Do I know what that usually does? That's um. Uh, you can make a magic appraisal check, actually. It 
it would make sense for it to be like a uh, uh, a sort of scout that's uh, trying to like find out what's happening. Just seeing the lights come on and back off mm -hmm. might have been enough of a. That's a that's one of Mirathi's created monstrosities. It'll go to the site, look around, and then vanish. So it's a temporarily created being. Oh yeah, um, how long would I've sustained you to sustain the light? Yeah, how how long did we uh, have to run? Um, oh, uh, let's see, two hundred meters. Who's the slowest of you? Uh, just with you, by the way. I imagine and Noel and Karma. Uh, e okay. If Karma is here, uh, uh, Flariol is going to be on Karma. Okay. Uh, Null seems to be the slowest with five. Yeah, that makes sense. This time, I think. Yep, so... Uh, speed of fire. It will take eight turns to reach the compound. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So you, you, uh, uh, Killian, you probably caught back up to <laughs> us after reaching for the possum because of how slow Null is. Eight turns worth of maintaining that uh, extinguished light. I tell Jara you can hold the rods now. Hmm? I tell Jara you can hold the rods now. Oh, you've completely emptied all 500 points of, from, from the rods? Well, I also took some because I was not all the way. <laughs> oh my god, you asshole. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they're all empty. Good to know. Oh boy. Blah blah blah. Twenty three. Okay. And twenty three. Opening or entering into the compound, you are immediately greeted with three choices: left hallway, right hallway. Both of them seem to extend a good distance and then curve left around the circular circumference of the manor. Uh, directly in front of you, the path is wider and it's sort of. Uh, bows out to either side. You can actually see the addressing hall from here. You can see the part where the place where Karma was standing. Okay. And um, on straight ahead from here, straight ahead, you see. Okay, I'm going to bring you over to the place then. You see uh, someone, um, a, a younger individual, uh, not not a child, but like probably teenage years, standing moving across the upper levels and the door is open and it's just are you making a stealth check or are you just walking through the door um at this point since draw roll is here and karma is here uh wait no we're still invisible you're still invisible let me make that roll for them yeah uh uh so if they fail their psychic resistance check we should be like not they look at you and they look at you. Oh, fuck. Um, and you see, like, a, a, a shadow of, like, fear come over their face. And they turn and they will start to book it. Uh, I'll get you an icon for them. But they're going to book it all right. this way through to the back door there. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. You will get around and wish they're booking it. If you want to roll initiative, that would be excellent. Yeah. It's because a few of us have chain spells to grab people with. Uh, or silent spells and stuff like that. Do uh, a little. I mean, like, I don't know if anybody's got silent spells, but chain spells. Uh, pa, 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 initiative. Yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Do, do, do. Okay. All right, make your initiative. Let's do it. Is that the card from a playing card? Yeah, it's it's um one of the it's a tarot card. Oh, forty one. Oh yeah, I'm I'm a slow old man. Slow old man power. Uh, da, da, da. uh probably going to go with that if I'm able to move in. Uh, quickly enough to use it accurately, and that's 
this one. All right. All initiatives are done. Let me get knowing karma as I always read. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Karma. Psychic powers. No. Uh, fist powers. Oh, wait, he does not have that negative 35 penalty anymore. He has healed since then. Oh, bare knuckles go! Wow, both of them open rolled. Nice. Uh, let me uh, let me do the open roll for uh, bare knuckles. Okay. Also, since I have area control, I will make my perfume spell basically no area. Uh, no area? Okay, so retract your perfume. Gotcha. Thank you. And Karma's was 231. Alright. Uh, Thilariel is probably just going to use her turn to and, and her flying ability to get Karma closer to uh, the person, because I don't think we... Uh, I'm not sure I'd be able to like reach this person and immobilize them. Um, All right. So Null would be first. Alright. Uh, Null is going to say, <gasps> Wait! Ah, uh, yes, with Null's legendary uh, persuasion. He has, he has it. Oh, he has the skill. She does not wait. All right. Uh, bu -bu 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 Karma. Uh, give it one second. Uh, uh, five. How, how far away are we? Uh, six is 70 feet. Uh, can I move? He's going to quickly say, if oh, anyone yes. can, can anyone stop her? Because I can stop her from yelling. Uh, I got it. Uh, okay. Thilario can move uh, five. Uh, can, I, I'm uh, able to move. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm able to move within range. I am also taking Karma with me because I'm in armor mode and uh, going to try to immobilize this person. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, da -da -da. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, minus 40 to immobilize. Yeah. Uh, minus 40. Oh, wait, no. Not minus 40 fatigue. Two fatigue. And minus 40. All right. 232 attack. 232. All right. I'm getting my uh, magical restraint there. That okay, so one thing pop, okay, and she will turn to you and like raise a hand. You will see a royal shield appear, however, it does not save her from your attack. You get the full dexterity, okay. Uh, and so we should roll against each other, yes, and I get plus oh, no. Do I get the plus? I, is this an actual trapping attack? It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, completely immobilized and probably completely immobilized. Also got like uh, 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 some like part of the uh, net, uh, st and, like stopping her from like uh, <laughs> screaming. Yep, and at the same time, Karma has a mental restraint on her to keep her from making loud noise. So Oof. you capture her. Um... She. Moves a little bit. You can see the like royal blue shield sort of flickering along the edges of uh, Thalariel's hands. Um, uh, knockout maneuver. Knockout maneuver. Okay. Um, you know this to be Eliza Lee, who is another reasonably skilled student, not like among the very, very best, but uh, she also has some minor light spells. Uh, oh, that's going to be on the on my next turn. If anybody else has anything they want to do before I knock this person out, was there only one person inside? There's only one person you get inside, and there don't seem to be any more. All right. Cool. Ba, 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 ba. You can make a magical price no. check if you want to look for gifts. Uh, head head attack is going to be a minus thirty. And okay, cool. Less. Uh, 
Um. Ah. Ah, uh, that only gets buffed up to two for. Uh, Gordy, okay. That is actually uh, at a penalty. Uh, all right. You can sense her. You can't. You you. You actually can't even sense her gifts, so you're pretty sure you're not going to sense anyone else in the complex. Wait, I can't sense her. Wow. Yeah, he can't even sense her gifts. She ruled very good. Why do you have a negative ninety? Oh, because I have the shadow spell. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then I have um, specialization. <laughs> so. Yes, you can't the... sense any. Um. Okay, no fatigue. Minus 90 suitable because I'm um, keeping this person uh, restrained. And then on top of that, I get a minus. Oh no, it's just minus 60. Yeah, it's just a minus 60. And because I'm using a precise weapon. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Uh, do you want to roll defense for this person? I will. Their shield is still functional. Yeah, that makes sense. Bing! Uh, there's 30% damage. 30% damage. That is probably not going to be sufficient, but... Well, I... if it's a knockout maneuver, it's always critical. At least. Oh, it's always critical? Yeah, because you're hitting them in the head with a knockout maneuver. Oh, yeah, yeah. I only need to do, like, 10%. Uh, uh... You don't need any amount of damage to the head. It's automatically critical damage. Okay. Cool. Uh, so yes, I did do that. Uh, uh, um, armory, hand to hand, uh, does seventy damage. You said thirty percent. Okay. Yep, so twenty one. Uh, so I did not knock out this person. Uh, what is your critical? You need to roll. Like one d one hundred plus twenty one. You said. Actually, yes, you do not. You do not critically win this first. They're not okay. unconscious. Yeah. Ah. Just, you do deal some damage to them, though. Uh, yeah, knockout is. Da -da. You deal uh, ten damage unless you want to. No, you you can deal half damage. No, you have to deal half damage. So half yeah, damage. She's been dealt ten damage. Alright. Um. Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. Uh, and they all sort of like dancing around there. And they're like, what do I do? It gets really small. It gets really large. Uh, uh, anyone else want to make an attempt? Uh, if no one else is attempting. Oh, oh, no, wait. Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah. I'm uh, teleporting oh, yes. this person into the ground. Okay. Yeah. Make your teleportation attack. Okay, so uh, first off is the potential. Yeah. Uh, okay, two fifteen. That is sufficient to cast it. Uh, ba -ba and projection two sixty two. Ooh, you hit. And what is the resistance they need to make? Uh, resistance. Uh, I got two fifteen, meaning it's a physical resistance, a hundred and twenty. She resists. God. No one likes being captured by God you guys. Damn. It's weird. Uh, it, yeah, I, I capture people. Um. Yeah, that's it for what I can do this turn. Uh, Jural is gonna keep a lookout. Uh. I'll be right back, yo. Okay. I don't have any non-magical way of... Do you have anything? Do you have any non-magical ways of stopping her? Well, I've stopped her from yelling. I can't really put her to sleep unless I make her put herself to sleep, which she can't really do right now. Wait. Uh, I got something. He's gonna like give a little glare and and like raise a hand to just sort of like swipe his fingers, and he is going to 
Pa 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 pa. 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 Um. What power are you using? I'm. Um, he's just gonna like. He's gonna mind control. Just try to force it to drop the shield, and then that'll be it. Her shield pops. Um, would the rose thing try to knock her out? Yes. Um, Joro. He went out. I am back. Oh, no, he is. Okay. Uh, Karma's turn. You see him raise his fingers, just sort of like wave them aside, and her shield vanishes. Uh, so now it is another hit from Delario. Okay, cool. Uh, da -da -da, so Lario is going to try again. Not tr really trying not to <laughs> kill this person too much. Yeah. Uh, blah blah blah. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Attack. No fatigue. Uh, the modifier is going to be minus sixty because mm -hmm. hand to hand is precise, and I'm immobilizing her. Uh, whatever defense she has is at a huge penalty. Two hundred. One hundred and eighty percent damage. Okay. Uh, one hundred and eighty. Uh, blah blah blah. One eighty times uh, point seven is going to be one hundred and twenty-six. I'm going to do half of that. And... Okay, that will be critical. Yep. And. Blah blah blah, and plus 126 is going to be 195 to avoid getting unconscious. She is unconscious. All right. Wow. Cool. She is also uh, bleeding, but unconscious. Oh, uh, Clot is one of uh, Filario's uh, uh, spells. It's very easy. Boop. Yeah. Healed. No serious damage will befall her now. Cool. Uh, oh, however, cool. I want Killian, cool. uh, Joral, Gabriel, and Omen to make notice checks based on sound. Okay. As, give me one second. Ba, ba, ba. 175 to clot the blood of this person. Um, ba, ba, ba. And after that. Uh, yeah, before that, uh, Joral, I wanted to get uh, Munin. I wanted to get like Eyes of the World, uh, since it's probably going to like yeah. While Filario was doing this, I was trying to learn to to keep a uh, a lookout, and mm -hmm. I thought that I'd be better at it with Eyes of the World. Just give me okay. one second. Uh, yeah, are you using one, Eyes of the World right now? Yeah, it's one hour for every ten points by which I pass. So and you pass I'm, by a lot. Uh, so I'm going to activate it and just keep it on for, uh, and have it on for a while. Um, gonna take three turns to just take the minus 20. Uh, mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. So that's gonna be. Whew, 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 You're gonna be seeing things whew, for so long. Oof. Uh, oh, it's gonna be hard to sleep with that. Oh my god, second open. You will see everything. <laughs> everything. Okay. So I'm going to put in the temperance bonus now. Um, okay. So that's going to be... 688 so far. 688. Oh my god. And a minus the difficulty, which is 200. Uh, let's... <laughs> I don't know if I roll. Oh my god. Okay. Actually, it didn't even... Oh, uh, minus the 200. Okay, so yeah. you're, five, you're 58 hours right now. Okay. Okay. Sixty-two hours. Sixty-two hours of. I've got three days. Yeah, three days of. That was an, a roll of eight hundred and twenty-four. <laughs> uh, hold on. Three days of of eyes of the world. <laughs> I don't think. Okay. <laughs> Odin himself sort of like like just sort of peeks through and says, "Wow, I'm gonna miss those guys." Uh, wait, wait, wait a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So eyes of the world, uh, extrasensorial vision, 
uh, from Munin, and I can observe any event occurring within 1,500 feet, as if I had notice and search 240. I do okay. not uh, have the ability to... I still do not have the ability to see magic or magical stuff. But yes. uh, every, if I see... I can see people moving their hands and casting. So, yeah, right now, I'm the lookout. And I've got uh, both of the crows perched on my shoulders. Uh, and, yeah, able to see stuff. As you are doing this, you can actually hear... You can like feel the vibration of the footsteps. Somebody walking along the hallway to the right, coming towards the entryway. Okay. And if they come to the entryway, they may be able to turn and see you. But you do have this person here, and it's going to be three rounds before you see them. Uh oh. Uh yeah, before like. Okay. Before they get a chance to look down this hallway at you. Okay. Um. Gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna let people know. And okay. someone's gone. Uh, Do I know if there's another hallway we could hide in? Um, there is the one where she was going, and there's one to the left and right up here, this way. And even yeah. though it doesn't look like it, that way. Does it look like an? Do I know what's over this way? Um. Well, this way is the way to the bur the uh, ritual chambers. This way is the mess hall, and then beyond that is the uh, a lot of the rooms where they stay. Maybe the ritual chamber. Okay, you want to go to the ritual chamber? It's probably less hmm, probably less busy than the mess uh, hall. It's 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 just one individual, uh, and we and I know exactly when this individual is going to turn around. So we should actually just try to knock this person out uh, in like just get ready to ambush this person instead of hiding so like yeah like, uh, uh, Jorl says one person inbound from over there uh, nine seconds uh, let's try to let's try to immobilize and, and uh, uh, take them out the same way uh, so Filariel is going to move in with Karma in the same way. Gabriel is going to maneuver in order to be ready to teleport this person. And yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. New initiative. Um, uh, new initiative. Is everybody like hiding in preparation to jump or are you just sort of standing there ready to hit her as soon as she, your person as soon as she comes around the corner? Um, I am hiding. Probably hiding. Uh, just I uh, Joral is not good at hiding. <laughs> Everybody, uh, if you want, you can be standing. You are still covered by invisibility. Uh, do as you please. All right. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, oh yeah, we are covered by invisibility. Yeah, hiding. Good point. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Uh, Ooh, Omen is very good at hiding today. And... And... Initiative. All right, let's do this. Cool. Uh, right, descending order. Cool. Oh, technically I should get 50 more. I forgot. Do you want us all to roll stealth? Um, nope, hide is what I was preferring. So, oh, yeah, hide. I'll... Hide. Um, well, good thing we have invisibility because I don't even pass the. Uh... Jural. Uh, that's like, that's, that's kind of like Philarion. Chef. <laughs> chef just stands boldly in the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Unless Roman tells him to do otherwise. Yeah. Uh, this this was Filario and this is Droll. Okay. Not, not much better. No. So you guys are. Uh, what do you? How are you hiding the girl? Are you hiding her? Uh, yeah. Basically, uh, 
like uh, uh, Filariol basically has her in in a net, uh, drags her to the side, uh, tries to like hide her behind a pillar. Uh, let's go and prepares to like do a similar net attack to the new person. Very good. All right. So you wait. Everybody ducks into hiding. Omen, did you want Chef to hide with you? Mm. Just have him in it. Um, it's probably in there. Leave him there? Okay. Chef attempts to uh, look like the broadest of lampshades and stand in the middle of the exact center of the room. Uh, you hear the clicking of shoes on stone floor. Uh, most of your eyes directed towards the back of the room. And as you do, you see this woman turn the corner. Uh, you may make a history check to recognize her. Killian and Joral, otherwise no one else will. History... Nice. By the way, did you try to hide right up front there, Omen, or do you want to move like over behind these pillars or something? Oh, um, I want to sound physically on the position where they're coming from. Okay, yes. Yeah, where, where, where's this person coming from? I will show you. I'm going to put their icon on the board here in a second. Cool. I will place my icons based on that. Yeah. I don't have history. Okay. I do. It's necessary skill to... Uh, yeah, I've hidden the uh, person behind this pillar here, uh, and Come, okay. and okay. basically Filario is going to be uh, hiding behind this pillar here uh, with Karma, and the uh, not very well, uh, and uh, Joral is not hiding very well either uh, behind mm -hmm. this uh, banner, and Gabriel is hiding very well behind this banner right here. Okay, and I rolled 112 for history. You don't immediately know who this person is. They're, they're vaguely familiar. Uh, it's, it's, you don't think it's Mirthy and, and Omen, you know this isn't Mirthy, whoever this is, just walked into the room. Uh, did Killian roll history? Killian. I don't have history. Yeah. Okay, he definitely does not know who this is. So this unusual woman, she's uh, just a little bit on the tall side. She has very long hair. It seems to like have an oddly... Uh, it, it seems to be blonde, but seems to like swirl, like just faint glints of green when the light hits it right. Uh, she's wearing very heavy robes, a very broad hat. In her hand is a staff that seems to be made of wood at the base, split in the middle, and then to make this uh, swirling double helix pattern that is made of, a, from what you could guess, it's some sort of green gemstone, maybe jade, probably not emerald. And uh, she just sort of steps up into the room and sweeps it with her eyes. Are you going to immediately attack? Yeah. Okay. Uh, does What's her initiative? Her, the person's initiative? Yeah, because, oh, yeah, because uh, Filario has 300. Oh, yeah, I can't get double surprise. So uh, yeah. I'm hoping I get surprise from the initiative because m my height was uh, 39 for Filario. So, yes. Um, let me take a quick check here. She rolls less than 115. Then she Oof. is not surprised. Oof. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully this. I'm oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean I didn't do that right. But I'll put it back down to two thirty twenty seven. Okay. Uh, two fifteen. Yep. I got it. And, and there we go. is gonna be a minus forty. Uh, yeah. All right, 238 immobilization. Okay. She, you have to run forward and attack her that way? Yep. Okay. Uh, what's her movement value? Uh, I can move 70 feet per turn with Filario. 
Okay, so you will have to take a negative 25 to that to move to her and then attack her. Yup. Uh, so that drops me to... Hey. To... No, a camera is coming with me. I mean... Oh, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, pa, pa, pa. Minus 25, that's gonna be 3. It's gonna be 213. Uh, uh, immobilization attack. Okay, 213, immobilization attack. <laughs> okay. She looks at the blood elemental like streaming towards her, and you see like the finger just like just barely visible past the uh, the sleeve of her robe flick up and a wall of ice sh fires from the ground and blocks the shot. You uh, you sense uh, a rather intimidating spike of Zionic energy as she does this too. All right. Uh, you can make magic appraisal checks if you would like. Sure. Uh, pa -pa -pa. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, no. Uh, Idarid being down, uh, Omen would be the only person, or, or Omen or Killian would be, would be the only ones who'd be able to like sense the magic power. Uh, and no this next. Ooh, nice one, Omen. You did roll the six, but still a de very decent score. Yes. All right. Um, let me check here real quick. Okay, you get a vague sense of this person's magic ability, and you know that it is insanely powerful. They seem to be sort of like on that same trek of you with just having tons of magical accumulation. You can't really guess the limits of their magical paths, but you do know that they are heavily tied to water for some reason. Do I notice anything different? Um, nope, you actually haven't seen this person around. I whisper uh, slowly to myself, this is a new person. Uh, and it'll be Null next. Am I going in, boss? Go for it. Go for it. He charges. He's gonna do a running punch with his bare knuckles, because that's what I rolled with. He's gonna put some fatigues in it. He open rolls. A little. He he does put her on the defensive. The blow strikes ice, and you see it like splinter around his fist. He actually manages to push through and like flick her nose, and she's a little bit surprised at that. Uh, next is Karma. Is the shield still there? The shield is still present. Yes. How much damage did uh, Delariel do to the shield, by the way? Uh, 70. Yeah. Karma attempts to extend his psychic powers towards her, and she... You see her eyes, like, flicker towards him. Delario can see her eyes like flick towards him as she does this, but she doesn't even attempt to block it with the shield. His uh, matrix just seems to like shatter on her. Ooh, that's good. Omen's turn. Uh, you can't like. There's multiple places you can strategically place a fireball so that it doesn't hit any of us. Fireballs are very loud. Hmm? Fireballs are very loud. Oh yeah, they are very loud. But uh, loud. the enemy raising the alarm is also very loud. Yes. It's valid and it's on the initiative tracker, so I'm just going to assume she has Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah we, can, yeah, we can give her the same as you, unless you want to roll her into one, which I'm happy to do. Fine, so... um. Oh, 
I have, I'm like worried because I like, I don't hear the music, but the music is because I don't have my volume on. Here we go. Safer to make um, an attack with uh, Varen instead. Phoenix ability, so that should be. Um... Always be higher than that, but. Um... Oh, wait, sir. Oh, that's all right. They're still doing damage to the shield. Where do you place the fireball? It's Phoenix, so. Oh, Phoenix. Oh, geez. Okay. Base so damage, that... twice prisons, 110. 110 damage? That doesn't make it through anyway, but, um... Uh, did none... Did she see all of us? Because we A lot of us tried to... Yeah, a lot, a lot of us did try to hide. Uh, she seems to... not have been surprised, because, uh... Well, Solariel had to cross the room to reach her, so if yeah. she did not see Solariel in her hiding spot, she did see the thing jump out of her hiding spot and have to run to her. So she... She might still be surprised by the other attackers who were well hidden and have penalties, yes. which I assume is the reason Null managed to get her. Yes. Well, Null open rolled also. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Um, um, mm -hmm. Fireball. The fireball, too, sort of just flows over the shield of ice, dealing damage to it. You can see bits of it melting, but not actually hurting her. She's like slowly, her eyes are opening a little bit wider as she's realizing the number of people in this room. <laughs> uh, Killian, it is your turn. Unless I you... will. Wait, 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 wait. Omen, you can you can throw way more than one fireball if you want to. She she only used Phoenix so far. Oh, Phoenix. Yeah, just... that was fair. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. So back it up, back it up, back up. Then. It's a little turn. I still don't want to throw a fireball, but I will make a fire barrier um, in the entrance right behind her. Okay. Whoosh, fire barrier appears behind what degree? Um, intermediate. Intermediate? Okay. What's the what's the length of that? Uh, five meters, uh, base damage 90. Alright. Five meters, there's gonna be something like... Uh, 15 feet, a little bit over. Technically, this is the entrance to the room, but that would neatly fit across the entrance near the doorway. There's like some invisible territory just behind this, okay. but we can say that like about this far back, there is a wall of fire that is blocking you from exiting through. Right. I do not see where you were pointing when you said this far back. <laughs> it's, it's the arrow is black for some reason. Oh, yeah. You can Fine. change the color for. Oh, yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, Alright. I actually made two of those. Now I'll conserve my. Um... Firewall back here somewhere. Cool. Nah. It's going to get it drawn. Okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. Firewall. <laughs> and anything else? I'm sorry, what else were you doing, Omen? Uh, I'm going to conserve my Xeon for now, so just that. Okay. Well, I will Can order we... a chef to attack, though. Oh, Chef will enter initiative. Uh, I will cast Void Wave at the Arcade. Humble. Okay, you're casting Void Wave at her? And yes, at the Arcane level. Okay. Uh, oh, isn't that the shield destroying power? That is the yes, shield it destroying is. power. Nice. Just like. Let's... Well, make your attack roll. Wow, shitty ass. Well, that's what you want for this ability. Yeah, you 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 want her to be able to defend so that her sh uh, so that her shield takes the damage. Uh, how much damage does that deal to her shield? Six hundred. <laughs> Six hundred damage. The it bores a hole. You see the ice like chip and then vanish. Like it seems to be sort of buckling in on itself from the cold of the void. Let me make. It was sure. like yeah, it was a little. Black hole that just touched it in the absorb. Yep. Ate some shield. All right. Um. All right. Uh, and, oh, buddy. And after that, we have a projection of two hundred and twenty-three. I'm going to relocate her staff into Killian's hands. Uh, okay. The physical resistance check is a hundred and forty. 
Okay. Uh, physical resistance? Yeah, 140. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay. She barely makes it. Ugh. She feels it like beginning to pull from her hand, then slams it back down, and it reef stabilizes. Okay. Well, maybe next turn. Joral? Wheel. Oh. Is the shield still there, by the way? Yeah, right. Wheel of Fortune. Chef yeah. is still here. Chef, Chef entered with zero initiative. The shield. The shield is still there, right? What shield? Her, her eye shield. Oh yes, her eye shield is still there. Wait, okay, 161 initiative Hold from on. you. Hold on, uh, why are you rolling initiative? Yeah. Oh, I thought everyone went. Nah, it's Wheel of Fortune time. Oh. Wait. D -d -d okay, minus seven. Why doesn't it show the result? Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll summon like I usually do, and oh I yeah I'm just gonna roll summon like I usually do with the minus yeah. 100 because I'm doing it instantly, and yeah. whoo, whoo, whoo. man with your open world things they make oh me nervous because those two end fights like that. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I need you to uh, roll 1d100 to see which of the wheel of fortune <laughs> second open Please. roll. <laughs> Oh wait, I, uh, I did plus 100, so let me do that, not plus 100. Okay, just, might be. No. 35. 35, alright, uh, give me one second. Uh, okay, because of Temperance, it's actually 606. 35 uh, is the Lovers. Oh, <laughs> Isn't that a shield? It's, it's, it's really hard to, to want to hit me. Uh, 635, the difficulty oh, no. for Wheel of Fortune is 240. Which means yeah, yeah. it's um, two, two ninety, two ninety. Uh, you have that for twenty nine turns. Okay, twenty nine turns of the lovers. Yes. Cool. Um. Yeah. It, like you gotta make a magic resistance check to want to, to to want to attack me. Yeah. That's. All right. That's awesome. Uh, cool. And I spent a lot of Xeon to do this. So two twenty-five. All right. Okay. New initiative. Let's do this. Uh, why is it always the lovers? The lovers. Do you just want me to keep the one six? Huh? What? Yeah, one sixty is pretty good. Uh, he gets eighty. Uh, I'm gonna have no punching with his actual gauntlet this time, so he does more damage to the shield. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, what shield? This the ice shield she has on her. It broke. No, it, it a good bit of it broke, but the shield is still active. Oh wow, that is um, like after six hundred points of damage, that like she is very strong. Shield of Ice is a very um tanky high yeah very tanky shield. Oh, Farron is low initiative. Wait, Dang, Salario, stop it! No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I am not stopping. Do surprise her. Yes. Um, if I surprise someone, do they even get to? Oh yeah, no, yeah. Uh, still gets to raise their, uh, still gets to use the shield. Um, knockout. You gonna do knockout on her? Yeah, knockout. Okay. Uh, knockout and give me one second. I'm gonna use the, uh, a weapon profile. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, no, actually, it would impl in impact my initiative. 
so I wouldn't be able to retroactively do that. I'm gonna have to keep the damage uh, of hand to hand instead of moving to something else. Okay, knockout. Um, so she is gonna have a surprise penalty to defend. Yep. And uh, knockout is gonna take a minus 30 from me. Uh, but that's all. So two points of fatigue, minus 30. Okay, 274. All right. She does defend against your knockout maneuver. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an open... What ball. is the damage of that again? Uh, 70. Gotcha. And that's it for Philario's turn. Lario's turn. Oh, All right, next it is her put turn. Her, I didn't even put her on the defensive. Oh, this is bad. Oh, fudge. One second. I have to do something. It's my fault. I'm not going to let my players suffer because of me. She defends, but she takes more damage to her shield. There we go. Okay. And I also have to roll his initiative again. I'm a goof. I forgot. There we go. All right. Her turn. You see her, like, in the middle of all this, like, she had to back away and kind of wince as Null's attack hit, but she generally seems kind of calm, and she, like, slowly raises a pipe to her lips as everybody's, like, har harassing her shield. Mm -hmm. And she pulls it away and exhales a wave of cold. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's see here. Everybody in the room, please make a magical resistance. Well, dodge or block first. Yeah, block first. It is an attack, as I believe. Uh... It is invisible, though. So everybody who cannot see magic, please take a negative 90. Oh, joy. I am protecting karma. Uh, and... Uh, pa -pa -pa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're protecting me or not? Oh, I'm protecting you with uh, either its shield, so no worries about that. Um, pu -pu -pu, give me one second. Okay, Flario, uh, I can't see this, but okay, uh, uh, Avobi, uh, yes. Gabriel is able to see magic. No, actually, no. Uh, uh, I have uh, I have the the gift. I can also see magic with uh, Flario. Never mind. So no penalties to defending from that. I don't... Um, remember that everybody technically gets just a negative 20 penalty for defending through someone else's eyes. Yeah, but Filario is able to see magic, so... Uh, okay, she's uh, fine. Yeah. yeah, she's fine. Uh, pa, pa, pa. So she's defending with this, and she's protecting uh, Karma with it. Uh, do I get any extra penalties with uh, the... Uh, pa, 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 guardian. Oh, oh, she's armoring Karma? No yeah. likes her now. Huh? I didn't get that she was armoring oh, Karma. Yeah, that's why Karma was. I was dragging yeah. him along with me because basically, okay. like, I'm in armor form protecting Karma because he's the one person who I don't know has any defensive abilities. Uh, yes. So I'm keeping him alive. Basically. No, Nell is happy with that. Um, you block successfully. Okay, cool. Uh, after that, Edred is going to be defending. Oh, uh, uh, can you make a magic resistance check, please, as you're unleashing this attack? Yes, also, uh, Chef open rolls, he is fine from the attack. Uh, uh, magic resistance. Let's see, that one's really high. Sorry, I'm doing math. It's all good. Uh, ba, ba, ba. 204. Eh, eh. Ah, god damn it. Uh, okay. Ba, ba, ba. What okay. do I roll for the def? You don't. You, uh, yeah, he draws blocking for all. I've got shit. Um, okay, cool. Uh, ba, ba, ba. um, okay. Uh, so I've got minus 20 for, pro for, Defending through other people's eyes and a minus four and a minus 40 for defending others, which means that my bonuses 
uh, for defensive expertise are completely countered, which means I am just plain rolling. Uh, All right. right. Who are you rolling for? Uh, and I'm going to roll in the initiative order, so that's going to be Killian. Uh, yeah. After that, it's going to be Omen. Uh, after that, it's going to be uh, Gabriel. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, I do, I'm not protecting Chef. Uh, Joral. Uh, Farron. Okay. And that's wait. Is that everyone? Uh, I I, wait, I, did, I did say Omen, right? Yeah, Omen's Omen's the only one so far who's been affected. Okay. Question. Yes. Um, who's got the open role? Uh, okay. Killian, Omen, uh, Gabriel's got the open role. The which? Oh, uh, Gabriel's by me. Right? Uh, yes. Because technically, the people in melee, if they passed, could make a counter. No, not with shield defense, not with magical shield defense. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, you can do it. Yes, you can. We talked about this. No. You can do it, but you can't do it on ranged attack. You can't yeah. do a ranged no, counter. No, 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 no. If you have a magical shield and you pass your defense, you can't do a counter. But. Filarial gets a counter, and I already used all of my attacks, so never mind. Okay. Uh, so, from what I can see, the only two people who are affected are Omen and Null. Both of you make magical resistance checks. Uh, Omen... Okay, cool. This count as a um, cold effect. Yes, it does. Uh, yeah. Let me guess. <laughs> uh, vulnerable to cold disadvantage. Uh, of so course you have that. that. Of of course you have that. Oh my god. Um, I should have known. Worse. Okay, and this is... Um, she just sort of like pulls this pipe out of her lips and heaves a breath towards the floor. It just seems like a wisp of like a, a golden O, like she's blowing circles. Or in that golden O, like a, just a wispy, like, uh, O of smoke. But as soon as it hits the floor, it erupts into, like, this spreading circle of frost that takes over the entire room within a second. Omen and Null, I'm pretty gosh darn sure both of them are frozen solid. Oh, jeez. Crystallization? Uh, no, freeze. Both of them are completely paralyzed. That they turn into that, full icicles. That doesn't mean they can't use magic. or No, but it does powers. mean that they get a... Uh, a big penalty. That she can't gesture for magic. Yeah, uh, so... Uh, but Farron might still be able to use her full accumulation... Uh, uh, Omen's full accumulation. Yes. Okay. It's good to know. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Frozen. Okay. And let, let me... it go. Let it go. <laughs> da, 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 da. She like looks up and sees that a lot of people are not frozen. Yeah. Thanks to the shields. And sort of huffs. And then she is going to uh, direct a finger at Solario and just sort of like point it over the staff. Make a defense roll, please. <sighs> It is another invisible spell, but you can see magic. But it yeah. is—it uh, is also fired. You also get negative thirty for a second attack. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. So hold on. Second attack, minus uh, minus thirty, and fired. Uh, what else yeah. do I get? You—it's just a. Uh, I don't know what your dodge or block oh, is. Oh, uh, my block is two hundred. And you have a shield, technically, right? Uh, no, I only I my initiative would have been uh, lower if I had did have. A so another negative thirty for a total of negative sixty. Okay, so minus 60 to defense. Also, I can't see your camera anymore. I can't see your guys' cameras. Let me rejoin real quick. Okay, cool. Um, 2, 14. Yeah, that's a pass. I'm hit. I will need, I will need you to make a magic resistance against a cold-based spell. Ah, uh, yes. Um, okay, I know there, that... I see you guys now. Okay, yeah, I see you too. 
Filario, Filario. Uh, give me one second. So I know that I have a minus 20 penalty to resist uh, to the, the, the cold attacks. Uh, mm -hmm. ba, ba, ba. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. Uh, if she's stuck by an attack uh, of of the cold attack type, the difficulty of the check to avoid all action penalty increases by twenty points. Uh, so this isn't an all action penalty. Yeah. So I don't know if that would apply. I would apply it if I was the GM, but uh, I feel like it should apply. But the yeah. rules say it doesn't. With or without it, you do fail. Okay. But the Lariels, Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, d d go ahead. The Lariel's form like seems to forcibly shift, and she pops back into a vaguely like human form, uh, uh, leaving Karma to fall to the ground. And um, the woman will kind of like draw back her staff and prop it over her shoulder. The Lariel matches this movement, and she's just gonna walk away. <gasps> oh, it's not a freezing spell. She's she's making forcing me to copy her movements. Yeah, um, this will give um, Chef a chance to attack her. Okay. Uh, oh no! If she makes any attacks, Filario's gonna have to match that attack. Yep, she goes over here, and she like lowers her staff, like just kind of down, like she's golfing. And at the same time, Filario's arms sort of extend into a similar shape and like point them at Karma. Okay. Well, let's hope that. Um, Chef can uh, interrupt that movement. Chef uh, cannot. He, he does make his attack, and it does deal damage to her shield, but it does not interrupt the movement. God damn it. Um, now, now, here's the thing, though. She'll give, like, just because she has the action, so she'll give a casual swing. Uh, but... I call Filario back into my body. Okay. Like, it doesn't look like she was being very coordinated with it. She just goes, whoosh, and the Lario is gone. Yeah. So that's gonna take my entire turn. Next turn, uh, when, mm -hmm. yeah, when she comes back out. Yep. Uh, okay, so, yep. Next turn, finally, her turn is over. Killian, it's your go. I will launch another void wave. Another void wave, very good, go ahead. Hold on a minute, I really... I need to. I'm not used to playing as wizards who have like quite what she has, so I have to calculate. It. What is your avoid oh, shield again? All right, void wave again. Oh, Ooh. that's not good. Ooh, that's not good. No, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna miss with that attack. All right. Um, <laughs> what does it do if it hits a person? It only can hit shields. It does nothing to nothing else. <laughs> Oh. So wait, so your projection doesn't matter if you're aiming it at the shield instead of the person protected by the shield? Honestly, I, I was going to say, I feel that this is a weird spell, because if a, if a caster knows what you're doing, they can just not defend from it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that feels like it makes sense. Hold on. Well, it's the, it's I mean, the void spell, I, that's right? what I was I was gonna say maybe the last one didn't hit, and whatever I want, this one does hit. Well, the Where last one did get... hit. D -d 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 oh, uh, unless we want to make it that a successes hit her shield, which would be sort of dangerous. Oh, I mean, we, did she? Did she know? She also has to know what the. Uh yeah, and and you're good at hiding it. Make a magic appraisal to check to hide it. Yeah, she she wouldn't necessarily know that it's a a, a void wave. That is a, sh a shield breaker, basically. She might think that like she <laughs> she blocked six hundred points of uh, of damage. That's uh, a scary uh, thing. Just now. <laughs> um. So, okay, your magic appraisal. Uh, she does sense that you are using void magic. Let's see if she can actually tell what spell, because there's special rules for it knowing what spell yeah. it is. Um, detecting the spell. Uh. Oh, I forgot to add my 40. Your 40 what? 
Party fine. for a special specialization. Okay, good. Oh, you're specialized in void weight, nice. No, I specialize in hiding magic. Okay. Hiding magic. Okay, so what level is Void Wave? What level of spell? Fourteen. Oh, it's fourteen. Okay, she does recognize it. She she's watching you, and she sort of furrows her brows and is like, "Oh God." Oh, she she. she... Yeah, she knows. She open rolled that one. Um... Twice. Yes. She looks at you. Uh, she looks at you also as it goes to Null's turn and says, "Wait a minute." Don't you work for Marathy? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a shame. And she like puts her pipe back into her back to her lips. Uh, it is now. Do you have anything else you want to do? Well, let's see. Uh. No. Okay. Null is frozen, so I'm skipping his turn. Karma's turn. Karma is sees no frozen, the other person dead, uh, gone, and is he has no defenses now. So he's going to scramble the heck towards this other alley, alleyway. He is going to turn and fire projection. Wait a second. What? Weren't we all invisible this entire time? Did she roll psychic resistance and successfully? She, she didn't that? have to. Her basic resistance is higher enough that she doesn't need to roll. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, cool. So, yeah, Karma is. Uh, yeah, I'm. Gabriel's gonna just say, Karma, don't j just lend your powers to me. What are you? Okay. In that case, he's like yeah. in the middle of casting his powers, and then he'll maintain link yeah. matrices. And he will try. He will just run down this hallway and like hide. Cool. Wait, yeah, no, so there's no hallway down there. So right. he's giving me a twenty or a twenty-five. Uh, can he move? Sorry, let me check this real quick. Uh, he is giving you his willpower is uh, twenty-five right now. So cool, twenty-five. All right. Uh, that's gonna be useful for Gabriel. All right. A and... thirty? No, because he leveled up. He has thirty for Thirty you. now. Okay, cool. All right, it's Omen's turn, but after that, I'm going to try to relocate his staff again. Okay. So, 25, so... He'll just get to the top of the stairs. He's just trying to run out of this room. Uh, all right, Omen's turn. She is asleep. Uh, it'll be Farron's turn. Why does Farron have a zero? Because uh, she, she rolled a very low initiative. She, she rolled gotcha, a one gotcha. or a two, I think. Gabriel? All right. Oh... Uh, this is not a great roll. Uh, yeah, I rolled a five. Duh. Um, okay, so it's going to be the same resistance as last turn. Uh, okay. pa -pa -pa teleportation. Teleportation. Wow, she's really good at barely making it if it's the same resistance. Uh, relocate. Okay, so give me one second. Two, uh, 240, right? Uh, it's a difficulty of uh, physical resistance, 140. So yes, she passes by six points. What is okay. um? What are the hide checks that were that Killian and that uh, Gabriel and Joel made? I had 300 plus. 300 plus. Okay. So she looks over at you. Actually, forget that she said that other thing because even just knowing where you are, looking at you, she's she's struggling to see you. Yeah. Uh, and Gabriel also like rolled pretty good uh, for for her uh, uh, yeah. hiding. Uh, she because she is, she's the one who has like some of the best skill. Basically, the fact that two the two of us are hiding in the same spot means that like the two people who know how to to hide best were like they chose the right spot. Yeah, they chose the right yeah spot. that's why I chose there because I was like, oh well, he's good at hiding. Yeah. Uh, so that's. Uh, gonna be it for Gabriel. Um, I just want to let you know that the entire that like Gabriel and Filariel are accumulating. They're not accumulating very fast, but yeah. they are at some point going to get uh, yeah yeah the chance to cast spells on top of using their powers. And Chef, immobilize her, Chef. Chef is trying. Uh, Chef is gonna attack. He's made his attack already when she tried to move away. 
and he failed. But he has a claw attack. What am I doing? He has two yeah, attacks. Yeah, he has he has two attacks. And the claw attack is made for immobilization, so... Yes. But I don't think he'll get to do it. Yes, sir. No. But ching, ching. damage to her shield. It is true. She gets plus eight. Da, da, da. Four... Uh, 455. Ah. All right, this is turn three, as I remember. Yeah. Okay. All right. One. Did Jerrell do no. anything? Uh, yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay. So 455. This. Uh, and then I'm going. After that, I'm going to use some rods to uh, get my uh, Zion back. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wheel, Wheel of Fortune is like the best I can hope for as far as my abilities go. Um, or. Where's the invocation at? Or incarnation at? Oh, no, I'm not. Um... Oh, Get wait, a, wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Incarnations. Incarnations. Uh. Uh, I'm level eight. Uh, 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 four, six, eight. Uh, da, da, da. All right. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Magic breaker. Ah, no. Never mind. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay, no. Uh, uh, it's gonna be better to use. Um, okay, give me one second. Uh, Omen. I'm uh, going to use the Empress on Omen. All right. So give me one second. Uh, pa, 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 uh, uh, minus 100, uh, but plus 100 because of, yeah, so just modifier 0. 499, the Empress difficulty is passed by, uh, pa, 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 uh, this is gonna be 40, uh, this is gonna be 340, I passed by 34, um, so Omen is going to get a bonus to f to resistances, which might oh. get her out of the um, uh, freezing ice. That is, yep, that yep. is very true. What is the bonus? Okay, the Empress. Oh uh, my gosh! <laughs> plus twenty to all resistances, either of the Invoker or the person designated by the Invoker. This bonus to resistances increases by a plus 10 for every 10 points above the difficulty. I passed by 340, so I am giving you a 360 uh, for 34 turns. Uh, you get and a that <laughs> successfully resists automatically, so the ice yeah. just shatters and melts around you. You are <laughs> fine. You get, you get plus 360 to all of your resistances for 34 turns. Yes. I think it's still half for the heat, but it'll still should be. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's still fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. You, like, all, any sniffles you had, your cold fingers, everything, like, any small, uh, unpleasant feelings you've had are gone. You okay. feel like you've never been healthier. Um... And the Empress looks like, uh, yeah, it's the beautiful woman wearing a uh, regal dress and a crown who hugs. Uh, she, she's going to hug Omen uh, and leave a light glow over the person, which is going to basically completely uh, uh, fall you. Uh, you might even be able to act this turn after getting frozen. It is true. What is Your initiative is 180, 18, so yes, you can act now. Right. Act now. Act now. Um, 
Or wait for Farron, and, and Farron could shoot lasers. Farron actually cannot hit her right now because Farron is surprised. Uh, That's true. Yeah. Well, Farron couldn't hit her with her first attack. If she had more than one attack, she could use the second one. Actually. Okay, you can have her take soul form this turn. Okay. Yeah. That yeah, makes sense. And. Oh man. What? Re remember what is... your ring of fireballs. <laughs> so uh, many fireballs. Ring of fireballs. I was gonna say, what does Farron's soul form look like? Okay, it's like a big. Um, fiery statue with two wings, um, fire encompassing rocks. Um, there's two different rocks using that. Mm -hmm. Did I roll the right one first? Independent attack. Uh, you... yeah, in... yeah. It's been a while since I used this. I know, it's been so long. Da, 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 da. Just so that we can keep her initiative the same, I'm gonna put her soul form box here, but but she's gonna be up in the top left corner. Up. We have minus sixty as well because it's the first time she's doing this. Well, now the first attack misses because she's surprised. Yeah. So that's that's just for that first attack then. Yep. Second attack, left wing. Ooh. Yay! Open rolling. <laughs> All right. Ooh, you pass. Oh, uh, yeah. If she has, if the gym gives her uh, the um, what's it called, the twenty points, uh, then you wouldn't be able to hit. I think it's a regular it's... attack. Well, technically, you didn't even get ten over, but you do fire a beam of uh, fire at her that melts through the shield fast enough that she actually like has to like wordly step aside to avoid the main blow and she's not gonna be able to do anything else this turn but she wasn't anyways uh, okay oh yeah you're putting her on the defensive would you like to describe the wings of fire for tez who's never seen them i just did okay right uh and omen still has an initiative right yes Fireballs. Is this just a fireball? Uh, yep, that's the first one. I don't know if I'm doing something special with those or not. Uh, you're you're technically throwing them back into the hallway, but that's all right. I'll let you do that. You're very smart. Uh, da base damage on these? A hundred. Yeah, because I'm into me too. Ooh. Okay. That one washes over her shield, and you see it like fastly melting now. She she's she's sort of like her face is just sort of. It's a little glory, and she looks at she like raises her hand, and you can faintly see a little like cerulean ring on it. We've got two more. Okay. Second. Uh, oh, that's your second one. There we go. That one hits her for, and she does not have armor. Really. That hits for twenty percent damage, so you deal twenty damage to her. Ooh, we're finally. <laughs> Finally did damage. <laughs> Finally yes. doing damage. Uh, this is a good fight. This is a hard fight, but we're doing it. Like, uh, you you see that she has most of her ice, beh ice, ice behind her right now. Uh, just sort of harrying off these explosions. And as she looks back, there's like about an ice cube the size of her hand left just sort of floating there. Did, did uh, she take an action? Or, or, um, quickly. You haven't taken any actions. Uh, uh, yeah, every fireball takes an action. So if you only have three, that's all you can do in a turn. Uh, yeah, that was that. Okay. So, so, boom, 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 boom. That is very loud. Um, initiative again. All right. I have to uh, leave off this turn as well. Oh, you do? I'm sorry. You have to leave? Oh, you mean like... Uh... Right now, I mean soonish. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Got it. We understand, sorry. I didn't know you'd leave right there. Hola. You probably said so and I'm a goof. No, I didn't, sorry. Okay. 
Okay, Gabriel. Uh, and uh, Hilario is coming back out of Joral's body, but uh, she is uh, unable to act this turn because it's the first turn of being present. And the spell is still maintained. Oh. She did not drop the maintenance. She has enough Xeon. Okay. Um, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna have her reappear, see that she can't move her body, and then disappear again. We're draining a little bit of Xeon from the, from the enemy, so... It's true. Null yeah. is, too. Alright, so, has everybody ruled? I haven't ruled for Karma, who's... Hey, she didn't even hit Karma, so Karma is safely out of here. He's gonna hide upstairs and let you take his potential. There we go. Oh, he opened world too, so he's definitely in here. Oh my god, she has the fastest initiative so far. Mm -hmm. uh, Anyone else need to roll? Uh, we're good. I think. Okay. I think we. All I think Fairy needs to roll again. Dead. And Chef. And Chef. Okay. Roll for the. Roll for Soul Form. The other one. Oh, okay. Just Pop it off. All right, everybody has been rolled for. Kelly and you too? Yep. Okay, so Karma's first. Sure, you don't want you, you don't want him to use any powers or just run away. I mean, if uh, like it's his initiative, it's 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 his choice whether he wants to use a power of her uh, uh, or not. But the fact that her basic resistances are protecting. Her from from uh, 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 from most of his powers, and that on top of that, like sh uh, most of his powers are going to rely on resistance rolls. There's not a lot he can do. Gotcha. All right. Well, in that case, he will duck into cover, and then she she sort of like watches him go, and then turns her eyes to you all, stopping on Joral. She says, Oh. I'm very lucky. I've heard about you. <sighs> she begins to like... She pulls her uh, pipe out of her mouth and sort of holds it. It sort of hovers between her hands as she begins to cast another spell. I've heard you're... cruel. And that you like to... Take gifts from children. Uh, mis misused powers from people who are old enough to be called ad adults. People who are old enough to be called adults can still be innocent. And as she says, this water begins to like leak from all corners of the room. All cracks seem to be like flooding with water. You don't know where it's coming from. It seems to fall up, down, it seems to drop in every uh, direction. Everybody can be called innocent if they've, if they've been having their memories uh, removed or changed. It, uh, it doesn't mean that preserving that innocence is a good thing when, uh, when, you're, when you're tampering with people's minds like this. Whoosh! She uh, casts her spell, and suddenly these uh, just droplets that have been crisscrossing, like hitting your face, come forward in like a rush. The entire room seems to be filled with crashing waves. Everybody must make a physical or a strength check. Uh, can I shield people? No, this is an automatic spell. Okay, in this case, can she make a... Uh, magic resistance check. Yes, she can. She can do that. Uh, it's difficulty 140. Or she automatically passes that. Fudge. Yeah. You uh, may also make swim checks. Oh, I put... Jural's got points in that. Jural, uh, swim! <laughs> Yeah. Old man, swim. yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, uh, it's the one physical uh, skill that I've uh, developed. I'm actually going to put points. Uh, I'm actually going to be using fatigue points for this. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Omen, you're fine. 
Wait, actually. Uh, that was for Furman, but Oatman's got 13. Wow, hold on. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, well, technically, you get to add a plus four to your swim check, Joral. Uh, to my swim check or to my... Or to your strength check, yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, strength. Uh, any other stat I could use other than strength? It says strength is the only one available. All right, and I get a plus four, right? Yes. I wish I kept my fatigue for that role instead of putting my fatigue in the flat in, in the swim role. But oh, who here can? Is that wow. you still don't succeed? What the fuck? <laughs> the roll they made was 22 or 20. Oh my god. Um, so all of you are hit by these crashing waves and pulled from your hiding spots. You gather here in the center of the room, floating around. Pulling you out here. But uh, does, does Farron doesn't actually get any damage. Also, this woman here. Farron doesn't actually take any damage. From, well, it's water, isn't it? Yeah, from being the draft of water. Uh, an elemental vulnerability check for actually. Yes, please do that. Okay. Uh, Avil? Yes. Uh, I just rolled for Gabriel to swim. Uh, 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 with a 53, do I get any bonus to my strength? Sadly, no. It's every po every degree above easy, so every 80 and above. Okay. And then, strength check with two fatigue. For, still no. Um, yeah, so both Gabriel and Joral are swept up by this. Uh, actually, I might be able to stop that. Okay, how will you stop it? Uh, if I cast Void Shield, it will eat, and she fails her check, it will eat up all the... That is true. However, this isn't an attack. You stand in that same vein, none of you lose your turn when this happens. But um, it isn't an attack, so it won't target your shield. But if it touches anything that comes into contact with it. I will say that does sort of make sense. I'll give you specifically a block check. Good luck, good luck. because her projection is really good. It is really good. So what... Um... Uh, well... If it's not going to do it for everyone, there's no point. Okay, okay, okay. Because I think it, by real rules, eats all... It'll eat up a... Yeah, it I'm is not supposed sure. to eat the magic that hits you. And it is usually supposed to eat the entire spell. You know, it is... What's the roll she needs to make? You need do you need to defend with it or even if you don't defend with it? Um I have to defend and she has to do well it hits the shield, so Okay. Okay. It because there's so much water, it's impossible not to hit the shield if it hit me, right? Yeah. So he has to do a willpower check against twenty. Okay. Ooh. Oops. She does not make it. You guys, I'm going to say that because that's sort of like a, a, an iffy section, you all are going to be dragged out and sort of flop onto the floor as um, this this wave hits you. But Killian, last moment beneath the water, you're, you're garbling out the last few words of the spell. Pow! It sort of shatters. And, uh, well, there's still plenty of water in this room. It's no longer pushing you towards the center. And it's now like flowing past her out the door. All right. Um, is that her turn? She looks around and sees this girl here on the floor. And she's going to say, what were your plans for her? To say that to who? Me? Joel. Uh, well, we were actually just trying to uh, get her out of the magic supremacist temple and not take her magic away. Uh, I will also have my wardrobe make me a mask to cover my face. Okay. 
Uh, and the the rush of water, by the way, has awoken this girl, and she like gets up and like slips and tries to swim her way out of the room as well. Um, with the amount of damage I dealt, she's she's still like critic. She's still been critically hit, so she's like stumbling, but she's just conscious and trying to move. Like I'm not actually gonna move her from that spot right now. Okay, cool. I just like thought she'd be unconscious longer. Usually, unless you're like water comes towards you uh, and hits you. And completely covered in it. Um, she is going to. Uh, all right, she's going to try a second time, but this one a slightly smaller version. Uh, she's just gonna take a puff of her, her pipe and blow another freeze at all of you. Freeze. Okay. Yep. Defenses. Well, I think Omen is good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Omen's well. good. Omen's just can ignore. Yeah, it. like Omen, <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was her attack roll? Uh, it's... Attack roll. Okay. Uh, can I do one defense check for all of it? There, it's Three. shields. Please or... do. Okay. Cool. <sighs> I just hope it is not like a fumble uh, or something. Actually, um, can I? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, can we? Can I do uh, one roll for each person I'm defending? <laughs> yes. Uh, I defended uh, myself because I tried to eat the AOE and it didn't work. Wait, you still have your void shield, so she has to do that again, doesn't she? Oh no, yeah. Well, no, shield. Yeah, I did. I didn't hit it. I didn't make it, so she's good. Okay. okay. Wait. So go shoot. It's, it's the same. It's the same turn. Y yeah, but I have to block. If I don't block with it, oh, okay. I, 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 yeah, I have to block. You have to okay. successfully block. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, so you just dispel it? No, I didn't. I didn't block, so I got hit. So it didn't. Usually, the uh, the shield just eats the magic. So it ate the magic out of her ability to make all this water and control it. So the water is all like. Flowing out of the room. Oh no! I was thinking of the other one. I was thinking of the dark spell. I think that may. Re okay. I'm confused. I'm um, confused. All right. Because there's two spells I have that do weird shield shenanigans. Okay, just uh, read read them and decide which one you 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 have. I'm gonna ca uh, protect uh, Killian first, and then uh, Gabriel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, two good. open rolls in a row. Yeah. Uh, and after that, Omen. And oh my gosh. Joral. You're uh, having a ton of good rolls today. And... If only they were good on the determining factor for Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. Uh, Farron. And uh, that's all the people I'm protecting. Oh no. So the Void Shield, you have to do the check first. And the Dark, spell, the dark Shield is the check after. Do the check. What? She has to do the power check first. If she doesn't make her power check, it gets cancelled. Okay. Oh, her power check? Yeah, she has to do one. She has to hit twenty power. She's or the void she'll eat. Second. Yeah, she's gonna make that. I I think uh, uh, Sam thought you. Where uh, we're saying um, willpower, willpower. Uh, that's also what it I says. Heard. It says willpower, power. That generally means the higher of the two. Yeah. So. so she has yeah. eighteen power. Jesus. Well, it's not uh, all her own power, but through a mixture of artifacts and things, she does have eighteen power. Uh, if she has sixteen natural. When we drain her magic, it's gonna be so powerful. <laughs> so powerful. Power, unlimited power. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we gotta we gotta get to that point without killing her first. So. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it went as uh, it, weird things happened and it somehow canceled the wa water imprisonment spell. But you still gotta worry about the freezing. Okay. However, it looks like three of you don't. Yep. Who are the three that did not resist? Okay, so uh, oh, he's still frozen. Yeah. So he's just he's like yeah. on his side now, frozen. Uh, Killian, uh, Joral, and Farron have to make uh, resistance checks. 
All right, Killian, Jorl, and Farron, please make magical resistance checks. Oof. Oof. Killian, oh. you are fine. Jorl, you fumble. Please roll your deal. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. Omen, you are... You're fine, I forget. Omen, you're fine. Uh, Jorl fine. is also frozen solid. Everybody else is fine. These are very high-level spells, and somehow most of you are always fine. I... Well, that's for Farron. Farron is lightly frosted, then. She's minor minor paralysis. Wait, am I full paralysis? Yes. Okay. That that doesn't really affect That doesn't me. really matter for you. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really affect my summoning abilities. So I, f I thought it was like, oh, cool, I'm losing all of my turns. But no, I, I, I just have a huge penalty to initiative, which I already did. <laughs> yep, you're just at mega zero now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I, I do need to make his roll. Pop, 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 pop. Actually, that's 20 more. He still doesn't resist, so... I gotta get... Sorry. Um, also, uh... Do yeah. you need to go, by the way, Omen? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Always in the middle of these fights. <laughs> Okie dokie. Till next time. Yes. If you want to keep going for a bit, you can roll for me. Uh, also, minorly paralyzed on the chef. On chef. Oof. Oof. I. This is a rough fight. <laughs> this is a higher level opponent than you're used to. Uh, yeah. Uh, dude, dude. But uh, no, that's good. That's like a, a really nice challenge, I think. Um, yeah. Da, da, da. Do you guys want to go around for just one more round? Sure. Sure. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. I, I can't do anything. <laughs> okay. See you next week. Um, see you next week. See you next week. All right. Uh, so kill she me. has enough Xeon for one more little thing. She's oh. like, huh? After that, she's out of Xeon. Well, no, I left Xeon in this turn. Uh, oh, she is going to like. <laughs> oh, okay. She she breathed out that ice, and she's like the. Only Joral is frozen now, and she just gives you another incredulous look and points at Joral, and is going to. Uh, oh, actually, no, she can't do that. She has none of the young. Good for you. Um, uh, a bit of the water. She's just gonna throw it at you. So I need you to make a defense. Okay, uh, Idrid's protecting again. Ba -ba -ba. Up, up. Okay, no modifiers. Who defense? <laughs> a whip of water curls up about the base of her staff, and she slings it at Joral. You hear like a resounding crack as it hits it. Let me roll higher than one or two. Woo! You yes. did do it. All right. Shield ping deflects it right off. It deals. It's a base of uh, sixty points of damage. Yeah, it's it, no, it's seventy points of damage. It's okay. I have six hundred points. Uh, life points on this shield now, and it comes back at the end of every turn. I will be fine. Alright, and then the turn will continue over to Killian, who has not actually suffered any attacks, even though he has... Wait. Yes, he did. Killian, you got hit by the ice. So it's technically, okay. you've lost your turn. It's okay, I didn't have any Zeon left. Okay. Hey, you spent all your Zeon? After I give you free, what the? I meant I, I meant accumulation, not Zion. Oh, okay. All right, uh, Gabriel. you It's very unfortunate. That, oh, sorry. Go ahead and just Gabriel. Hold on one second. Uh, In that ba, ba, ba. Case, while you are looking. Yeah, I'm. Just, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to look at something. Okay, so two forty is one forty. Uh, and 240, uh, it's actually the same difficulty, uh, to, like, it's actually just as efficient to try to knock her unconscious with teleport than it is to, uh, to, um, teleport an object out of her hands. So I'm going to try to, to use, uh, teleport to knock, to, like, teleport her into 
uh, not a... Okay, so if the architecture is touching energy to prevent teleportation, I might not be yes. able to teleport her into something to knock her unconscious. So instead, I'm gonna have her uh, teleport into uh, some... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have her teleport into uh, Chef, basically. Excellent. I was like hoping you'd say that because yeah. that's a really clever idea. Because because Chef is undead, so he even if uh, he'd be like somehow affected by having something teleported into him, which he shouldn't, he would still re uh, uh, not fall unconscious. So yeah, you get uh, Florio, uh, pa pa pa. Uh, no, Gabriel. Gabriel. Uh, Okay, let's do this. I have an extra 30 potential. Um, You're just using the basic spell, te the basic ability teleport, right? Yeah. Uh, pa, pa, pa. It's level right. 3 power. Okay. Oh, it's still 140 to uh, uh, resistance. And this is my protection in case you need it, but she's she might not even be able to see psychic powers or... Yeah. So... Protection and potential, or I don't even know if her shield can protect against it. Anyways. Alright, here we go. We don't have no PowerPoint. Nope. Oh. She stays still. Hi everyone, and thank you for watching this video. If you want to keep up with all of the adventures on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you can get a notification each time we upload the next episode of this story. And it would be very nice of you to like and share the video to help this channel grow. Have a nice day everyone.